stage. Prophesy. I saw you coming back to America. Yes. I saw you giving testimonies. Yes, Papa. I see you are happy. I don't know who is in military like I saw. The uniform. Oh, my husband's Air Force. Your husband. Yes. Professor. Yes. Papa. You are celebrating and you are testifying. Yes, Professor. But now you want to go to Uganda with your child. Yes, Papa. I saw you leaving in the morning. Yes, Papa. As you were driving, I saw you going to a place she's standing straight. Yes. You are taking pictures. Passport photos. Jesus. You are driving from the passport photo place. There's like a teen junction. As you are driving, another car came. And he hit the back of the car. Where your daughter Melanie was seated. I saw the car right off. I saw you yourself pulling yourself out of the car. Pulling the baby out of the car. Yes. You are trying to pump the baby. Pre- you are trying to breathe upon the baby. I, I see the ambulance coming. Yes. I see I see something like for, for Phoenix. Yes, Phoenix, Arizona. Phoenix, Arizona. Yes. You went to like a children's hospital. Yes. I'm in the month of September. Yes, September night. Prophesy, Papa. <laughs> I saw a struggle in the hospital. Day and night you are crying, you are praying. Yvonne is crying and praying. Gary is crying and praying. You are praying, you are crying. Then 27 October, bad news came. It got into your husband and ate him and ate him and ate him. (laughs) To the extent that yet, I don't want to go deeper. But it affected your marriage and it's affecting your marriage that it's about to break. But God says what you did in Africa is speaking on your behalf. Professor, your marriage shall stand. Amen. No divorce shall touch your house. But I shall bless you. And I shall multiply you. And I will increase thy children to 1,000 families. Hey. Prophesy. 1,000 families. You will take care of all of them. Say the spirit of the living God. I will be a blessing to you. Everybody lift your voice and pray. Lift up your voice right now. Begin to worship the hour. I don't care. You can hear smoking. I don't care. You can hear drunk. I don't care. You can hear from a threesome. What I know is that I know that I know Let every stone keep me my breath. Let every tree keep me my breath. Every fatty boom boom keep me my breath. Every stick on chin off keep me breath. Every black man, every white man, every African, every Jamaican. Give me my glory, give me my praise.
lift your voice. Are you ready to praise? Are you ready to praise? Lift up your voice.
Can we give him that praise? You are the everlasting God. From age to age, he stands. You are. All time is in his hands. You are the ever. You are the everlasting God. There's no end to him. You are. You are the everlasting God. He's Alpha and Omega, the beginning and the end. The everlasting. 
stands at the beginning, he's waiting at the end. You are the everlasting God. You are the everlasting. You are the everlasting God. Come on, can we glorify him right there? Hallelujah. Can we give our God the fruit of our lips? in this moment come on from your heart express your gratitude to him express who he is in your life you are the everlasting God you are always there you said you would never leave me you said that you would never forsake me but you said that you would be with me always hallelujah Come on, can we just give God praise for his presence in our lives? Can we lift our hands and give him adoration for his presence in our lives? For the place that he holds in our hearts. Can we just glorify him? Can we just adore him? Can we just worship him? Thank you for being my father. Thank you for being my keeper. Thank you for being my sustainer. Thank you for being the everlasting God. Thank you for being consistent. Thank you for being consistent. Thank you for being consistent. Thank you for being, consistent. Thank you for being faithful. Thank you for being faithful. Thank you for being faithful. Thank you for being a man of your word. You are the everlasting God. You are the everlasting God. You are the everlasting Father. You are the everlasting healer. You are the everlasting sustainer. You are the everlasting friend. You are the everlasting friend. Thank you, God. Hallelujah, Jesus. He's King of all kings. He's Lord of all lords. And he sits on the throne always. He reigns through all eternity. That sounds like an everlasting father. Hallelujah. He is the king of glory. And we know in him that there is no lack. We know in him that there is no failure. And tonight we just want to be in his presence. King of glory, we just want to be with you. King of glory, we just want you to come in and fill us again. King of glory, we sing hallelujah to your name until you come again and meet us where we are and fill us where we are. Father, fill us again until our cups overflow. Fill us again until our cups overflow. Fill us again until our cups overflow. You are the king of glory. And tonight we call you king. We call you father. We call you I am that I am. Everything that we need, that's who you are. Everything that we need, that's who you are. That's who you are, that's who you are, who you are. yes. Hallelujah. I want to sing this song to him. It says, yes, the world will bow down and say you are God and every man will bow down and say you are king just one more time yes the world yes the world will bow down and say you are God every man We'll bow down and say you are king. So let's start right now. So let's start right now. Why would we? King of glory. King of glory. Say fill this place. Fill this place. Just want to be with you. Just want to be with you. We just want to be with you, Lord. Just want to be with you. Just thank to the Lord. Say, King of glory. Say, King, King of glory. 
fill this place. Fill this we just want to be with you. Just want to be with you. We just want to be with you, Lord. Just want to be with you. From the top, let's say, yes, the world. Yes, the world. We'll bow down and say, we'll bow down and say you are God. And every man, every man, we'll bow down and say, One more time, let's say yes to the world. Yes, the world. We'll bow down. We'll bow down and say you are God. Let's declare every man will. Every man. We'll bow down and say you are we'll King. Bow down and say you are King. Come on, everybody. So let's start right now. So let's start right now. Why would we wait? Why would we And I'll dance in your prayer until, until you come again. One time say sing hallelujah. Oh, say, sing hallelujah until you come. Till you come again. And I'll dance in your presence. And, and I'll dance in your prayer until you come again. Till you come again. Just one more time. I'll sing hallelujah. Say you'll sing hallelujah. Until you come again And I'll dance in your presence and I'll dance in your presence Until you come again Until you come again Let's say I'll sing hallelujah Sing hallelujah Until you come Until you come again And I'll dance in your presence And, and I'll dance in your presence Until you come again Until you come again Say, say, King of Glory, say, King, King of Glory, fill this place, fill this place. I just want to be, just want to be with you. Say, I just want to be, just want to be with you. Just wanna be, just wanna 
We'll sing hallelujah. Sing, sing hallelujah. Until you come. Till you come again. And I'll dance in your presence. And, and I'll dance in your presence. Until you come again. Just to begin to dance in the presence of the King. However you do it. Come on, let's dance before your Father. Let's dance in His presence. Let's worship in His presence. Let's sing hallelujah in His presence. Lift your hands and begin to give Him glory. Hallelujah. Dance in your presence. 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 Dance in
will sing hallelujah until you come again. And we'll dance in your presence. And we'll dance in your presence until you come again. Until you come again, and we'll dance in your presence, and, and we'll dance in your until presence until you come again. Until you come again, we will, we will sing hallelujah. We, we will sing hallelujah until you come again. Until you come again, we will dance in your presence. We will dance in your presence until you come again. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory, hallelujah. Hallelujah, Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, Jesus. Somebody give the Lord a shout of praise. Oh, somebody glorify God in the house. Hallelujah. Oh, yes, come on, shout are. the highest yes, praise. Give Hallelujah. Him the Give him the highest praise. Hallelujah. Somebody give him the highest praise. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Somebody glorify the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Somebody shout hallelujah. Hallelujah. Oh, somebody worship the Lord in the house. Glorify him. Glorify him. Glorify him. Come on, give him your best praise. Hallelujah, Jesus. Give the Lord a shout of praise. Glory, hallelujah. Hallelujah, hallelujah. hallelujah. Glory, hallelujah. Hallelujah, hallelujah. 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 Oh, somebody praise the name of Jesus. Yes, Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Just put your hands together for him. Hey. Do something in his presence. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on, the song says we will sing hallelujah hey. until he comes again. And we will dance in his presence. Hey. Hallelujah. We will dance in his presence. We will do something in his presence. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Do something to attract his presence. Oh, somebody praise the Lord now. Oh, somebody praise the Lord now. Hallelujah. Oh, give him your best shout. Give him your best praise. Somebody praise him. Hey. Oh, hallelujah. Oh, glory to God. I, I, I don't know if you have if you have been through anything. Hallelujah. I don't know if you have gone through anything. I don't know if you have endured anything that the least amount of time you get you use it wisely when you're in the presence of God yeah yeah am I talking to somebody hallelujah have you gone through something where you thought that you couldn't make it Amen. where you thought that how am I gonna get out of this Amen. Am I talking to somebody? Oh yeah. Have you been at that place? But when you look all around you, there's just enemies and enemies and the enemies are attacking Jesus. and the devil is attacking and yeah. you don't even know how am I going to come out of this? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I don't know if you've been at that place. And the only time you can get to shout is when you're in the presence of God. Yeah. Hallelujah. The only time you can get to say something Hallelujah. is when you're standing in his house. The only time you can get to be free is when you're in his presence. Is when you're standing in his presence. The only time you can lift your head and glorify him is when his presence shows up. I've had enough of enemies. I've had enough fights. I've had enough battles. Hallelujah. To know that my God is real. My God delivers. 
the Bible says that God is a present help in the time of trouble I, I, I don't know if you catch this he is a present help in the time of trouble so so before you get into trouble God is already there or oh, let me say it another way when you get into trouble you don't have to go searching for God God is already present before you get in trouble the Bible says that he is there present when you are in trouble hallelujah where are the three Hebrew boys that were in the fire Hallelujah! and they said didn't we put three boys in the fire but there's a fourth person in the fire God will get in the fire with you he'll get in the fire with you hallelujah as a matter of fact he will get in the fire before you the Bible says he's a present help in the time of trouble oh yes he doesn't take you out of the fire he gets in the fire before you oh come on now where are the Daniels in the house he gets in the lion's den shuts the mouth of the lions before you even get there I don't know if you ever been through fire I don't know if you ever been in a situation where people are gnashing their teeth they just want to destroy you God shuts their mouth oh am I talking to somebody now maybe I'm upsetting some of you but for those of you that have gone through enemies that don't know when to stop talking enemies that keep on saying stuff it takes God to shut the mouth of your enemies Amen. oh come on now somebody Amen. he's a present help in the time of trouble Amen. so when you get into trouble don't go looking for God Amen. know that God is already there in the midst of your situation in the midst of your circumstance oh come on here somebody in the midst of your affliction in the midst of what you're going through your circumstance might seem above your head but let me tell you something today God is in the midst of your circumstance yes. oh hallelujah somebody oh he's the one that caused you to endure the fire he's standing in the fire with you giving you strength oh come on now church hallelujah am i talking to real people hallelujah am i talking to the church tonight yes, i don't know if you've been in a situation where you can't even open your mouth hallelujah it takes god to speak on your behalf come on. oh come on now somebody it takes the lord to speak on your behalf but i've got news for you tonight oh come on now somebody you are standing in a house of results in the house of prophet passion java in the house of prophet passion java hallelujah you're standing in the presence of an almighty god that moves mountains that breaks chains that shifts protocols oh come on now that breaks rules on your behalf that disqualifies your enemies from putting you to shame hallelujah that turns your situation around yeah yeah I'm, I'm sorry for some of you tonight that are spectating but I want you to know if you would give him the praise if you would give him the glory if you would call on the name of Jesus right now in this house there is nothing that shall be impossible for you hallelujah you see I don't know why I don't know why you came or what you're dealing with or what you're going through or what yesterday looked like or the day before but I know that he's a God of the now hallelujah oh come on now oh come on now somebody the Bible says now faith hallelujah in Hebrews chapter 11 no faith now faith is the substance of things hoped for he's a God of now what are you believing him for I'm believing him to act now on my behalf 
Hallelujah. I came tonight for him to act now in my situation. I came tonight for him to do something now in my circumstance. I'm believing him to move now. Uh, some of us can wait until next week. Some of us can wait until next month. But for those that are desperate, for those that are desperate, God, you got to do something tonight. You got to do something now for me. I can't leave this house the same way I came. I can't leave out of your presence the same way I came. Lord, I've got so much that I need you to do for me tonight. Oh, Lord, hear my voice. Hear my cry. Oh, hallelujah. My family is depending on you. My life is depending on you. I'm depending on you to move now on my behalf. I, I can't wait on tomorrow. I need a breakthrough tonight. tonight. I need you to move for me tonight. tonight. I need you to move for me right now. Oh, hallelujah. He's a present help in the time of trouble. Oh, hallelujah, somebody. He's a God that shows up when everybody else is running away. He's the one that stands up and stands tall for you. Oh, hallelujah. I wish you could encounter. I wish you could experience this God that I'm talking about. Oh, hallelujah. I wish you had an experience with him to know how he delivers his people. Oh, come on now, somebody. Yes, Lord. There's so much fakeness going on now. I wish you'd have an encounter with the God of Prophet Passion Java. Hey. The God that heals and delivers. Oh, come on now, somebody. Hallelujah. Oh, somebody put your hands together for him. Oh, you can do better than that in this house. Oh, somebody give him a praise as you're clapping your hands. Come on, give him your best shout. Give him your best shout. Come on, the louder you shout, the louder you shout, the greater your miracle. Yeah, the louder you shout, the bigger your testimony. Hallelujah. The louder you shout, the bigger your break. Hallelujah. If you shout, if you praise him, Hallelujah. he will step into your situation. Yeah. If you give him the glory, he will show up and show up for you. Oh, hallelujah. Oh, glory to God. Thank you, Jesus. I just got to talk about him. Oh, hallelujah, somebody. I wish I had a witness in the house. I just got to talk about Jesus. Oh, glory to God. When you know, you know. Yeah, when you know where he took you from, you know. You got to give him what he deserves. Hallelujah. Oh, come on now, somebody. Every minute of the day, every time that I get the time to do it, I have to do it. Oh, somebody didn't hear me now. Oh, hallelujah. Give him a praise. Hallelujah. Let's get ready to. Hallelujah. Oh, hallelujah. Oh, yes. Let's get ready to give our offerings. Let's get ready to sacrifice. Let's get ready to, as I love to say, break the ground open in preparation for what is ahead of us tonight. Oh, thank you, Jesus, for the move of your spirit. If you are hearing me, Quickly grab your best offering. You know what your best is. Maybe it's 100, maybe 50, maybe 200, maybe 500. You know what your best is. And God requires your best. Your best is most certainly good enough. Go to our Kingdom Embassy details, please, for our first timers in the house. Go to Kingdom Embassy Inc. on PayPal. Cash at the dollar sign, Kingdom Embassy Inc. If you are giving by Zelle, it's 301-503-7144. That's 301-503-7144. If you are writing a check, please make it out to Kingdom Embassy Church. Kingdom Embassy Church. For those that are writing a check, also visit our website. You can give there as well, kingdomembassychurch.com. That's kingdomembassychurch.com. Hallelujah. When you're on the site, you click the donate button. There are various ways that you can also give your offering. And if you are ready, 
to sacrifice to give unto the Lord you can stand with me and lift your offerings every person if you're able to stand please do so some people are already giving we thank God for you if you can stand please stand with me just a few more minutes thank you Lord lift your offerings now lift your sacrifices all over this room even if you are online watching all across the world lift your offering if you're watching you're in your living room sitting on your couch or wheresoever driving in your car whatever you're doing you're giving unto the work of God lift that offering up and begin to pray over your offering hallelujah connect a prayer to that which you are giving unto God every person you know in your heart that which you are thankful for you know in your heart that which you want God to do you know what desires what doors and things that you want the Lord to do you're standing in a house of results a house that produces results speak over your offerings be responsible now pray oh thank you Jesus thank you master thank you for that day father when you stood up Lord braver than any human being to bear the cost of our sins we thank you glorious Lord your people have gathered in your house your sanctuary God to love on you to appreciate you to give back into your work so that your kingdom might advance Lord we thank you for every giver we thank you for every gift father oh Lord I pray as your words proclaim if we give then it shall be given back unto us oh press down shaken together and running over lord are you promised that you would bless us that will be blessed going out and blessed coming in these are your words and your word is exalted even above your name today we thank you and remind your word as we give bless us in abundance let your blessing overtake each and every single person tonight that is in the house and joining in online bless them abundantly Lord let your names be mentioned in high places let them find favor Lord in uncommon and supernatural places let favor be unlimited father let there be speed and acceleration upon everything that they will put their hands to by the reason of their sacrifice tonight we thank you for them we glorify you and we praise you in the mighty name of Jesus and the church in agreement shout amen quickly come down to the altar and place your phones tap your phones or put your cash in the necessary vessels thank you Jesus say by my side by my side by my side God is always, God has always been by my side. Say by my side, by my side, by my side, say by my side. God is always, God has always been by my side. One more time, say by my side, by my side, by my side, say by my side. God is always, God has always been by my side. Say by my side, by my side, by my side, say. God is always, God has always been by And he'll never leave, he'll, he'll never, never leave me. me. Promise, promise to be right He'll never there. leave, he'll never leave Promise to be, promise to be right He'll never leave, he'll never leave me. He promised, promise to be right there. He'll never leave me. Promise to be, promise to be And he's all good, and he's all good. He's a good God. Come on, if you know that he's a good God, say, and he's, and he's all good. Yes, he's a good God. Yes, he's a good God. Hey, I'm going to ask you a question. What you know about God is good or good. What you know about God is good or good. What you know about God is good or good. Yes, he's a good God. Yes, he's a good God. What you know about God is good or good. He's good or good or good. He's good, oh, good, oh. Yes, he's a 
a good God. Yes, yes he's, he's a good God. God. Yes, he's a good God. Yes, he's a good God. Hey, I'm, yes, he's a good God. Yes, he's a good God. Last time. Yes, he's a good God. Yes, yes he's, he's a, a good, good God. God. this weekend. Welcome, welcome to each and every one of you. I want to welcome all of our online viewers. Thank you so much for tuning in with us tonight. Please do us a favor and let us know where you are watching us from. Amen? Amen. Amen. At this time, I would like to acknowledge all of our first-time visitors. So if you are visiting Kingdom Embassy Maryland for the very first time, please raise your hand because we like to acknowledge you. <laughs> Hallelujah. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Keep your hand raised, please. We have our beautiful ushers that's coming around to give you a first-time visitor's card. Thank you so much for coming. Please tell us, how far did y'all travel here? Did y'all travel by plane, by bus? New York. New York? New York's in the house. Amen. Anywhere else? Boston? Boston, welcome Boston. Florida, Florida, amen. And I know that we have people watching all around the world, so welcome, welcome, welcome. I always say this, but you really are in for a treat. Not just tonight, but this weekend, amen. So we thank you all for coming, and I declare that the Lord will definitely speak a word to each and every one of you that will absolutely lift you, that will shift you, and that will catapult you into your next and higher dimension in God, amen. Amen, amen. So at this time, what we love to do, we love to honor the visionaries of this house, amen, as being their children. We are children of honor, amen. So we stand to our feet. Come on. So people already in the spirit. They already know what we're about to do. We honor the visionaries of this house. The sons and daughters should be the loudest in this house, amen. And we honor Prophet Passion Java, our father in the Lord. And prophetess Lily Java, our mother in the Lord, in which we are so blessed to be blessed by each one of them this weekend. Amen? Amen. Mama, Papa, we love you. We say thank you, thank you, thank you for all that you do for each and every one of us. Amen? Amen. You may all take your seats. Hallelujah. The vision here at Kingdom Embassy is that we are a people of prayer. Amen. And we are preparing the world for the second coming of the Lord Jesus Christ. So every Tuesday night, we want you to tap into the power of prayer with our weekly Kingdom Embassy prayer line. Come on, intercessors. Let's get excited about this prayer line. <laughs> hallelujah. Hallelujah. If you did not make it on time for service today, you missed the intercessory prayer time. Amen. That's a very vital part of this um, night, amen, of every service is prayer. The, your prophetic word is birthed from a place of prayer. So please, 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 tomorrow, come early so that you will not miss the intercessory prayer time, amen. Everybody clap for our intercessors, hallelujah. We thank God for our intercessors. So if you are interested in joining the weekly prayer line, contact the office at 301 503-7144, or get the information on the screen behind me. Our Father in the Lord does morning devotions. Please join for life-changing revelations. If you've ever joined one of our Father in the Lord's morning devotions, you know that it really, truly is life-changing. He can speak one word, one sentence, one phrase that will have you meditating for the rest of the week. Like, wow, 
Papa is deep. Amen. Amen. So if you have not had this experience yet, please follow Prophet Passion on YouTube. Set your notifications. Cut them on so that when he goes live, you will not miss a thing. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Clap your hands if you were here this morning for the prophetic school. <laughs> Hallelujah. I wish we had testimony time, but we don't have testimony time right now. Hallelujah. But if you missed this morning's prophetic school, it's not too late. We have part two tomorrow morning at 11 a.m. It's not too late for you to register. If you want to register for the prophetic school, please go to ProfitPassion.com and register so you will not miss what the Lord is speaking through the man of God. Amen? Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. We, will, we need to have a, a, a testimony time for the prophetic school because Papa is so deep in the revelation that he gives us in the prophetic school is not always what's here in front of everybody. Amen. So that's what's so special about the prophetic school. So if you have not yet registered, please register. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. And if you have been blessed by this ministry, as Pastor Wallace said earlier, this altar really is an altar of results. Amen. I personally can testify of the results in the favor in everything that God has poured out over my life as a result of this altar, serving in this ministry. Amen. So please, 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 if you have a testimony, visit kingdomembassychurch.com under the connect tab to share your testimony by text, or you can upload a recording of your testimony or see myself in the back immediately after service. In this house, we are a family of ministries. We have Kingdom Embassy, we have Passion Java Ministries, Lily Java Ministries, Ahava Women, and Lily Java Foundation. We are also a prophetic church, hallelujah. And in this church, the prophet and the prophetess loves what? What provokes the prophetic? Noise. Noise. If you're quiet like this, Papa's going to be like, I'm ready to go somewhere else. Amen. You have to make noise in order to provoke the prophetic. Amen. Amen. So all, for all of our first time visitors, I like to tell y'all this. Whenever the prophet comes and he's, he has a word for you from God, we say prophesy. That means go deeper. I'm here to receive what God has for me because I came here for answers, directions, clarity. Amen. So bring it on, Papa. Bring it on. Amen. <laughs> Hallelujah. So make the noise to say, ah, oh, this one's ready for her prophetic word. He's ready for his prophetic word. Amen. 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 I'm just giving you some keys. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. <laughs> if you have given to this ministry in 2023, we know that it is tax season and we want to ensure that you have your tax forms to complete your taxes. Please visit ProfitPassion.com under give, giving statements, and then follow the instructions given to receive your forms. So, I know there has been so many people that have been wanting to serve and to volunteer. So right now, it is your time to shine. We have so many different volunteer opportunities, starting with the admin department. They are expanding, and they're looking for people with experience in this area. And if you're interested in joining the admin department, please see Sister Chantel in the back immediately after service. Amen? We also have our post-production team, our video editing team, social media, children's ministry, maintenance department, and ushers department. Now, if you saw yourself in one of those seven departments as I was saying them, please go to our welcome desk um, outside in the foyer and speak with someone so we can get you started today. Amen? Amen. So I know you all hear me say at the end of announcements, Please like, share, follow the prophet of prophets if you know, want to know what they're up to. Amen. You come to Thursday night service. You come to Sunday morning service. But if you say, I want more, I desire more teaching, I want to learn more, we have groups for you. Amen. Our Father in the Lord has his premium mentorship telegram group where you get direct lessons and live sessions from the prophet himself. He also has called College Commission Women's Group on Telegram as well. Everybody put your hands together for the women. <laughs> Hallelujah. 
God is, uh, our Father in the Lord is training and raising women, hallelujah, in the prophetic in this group. So if you are interested in either one of these groups, please see someone in the back immediately after service to get signed up today. Our Mother in the Lord also has daughters group and Ahava women both on Telegram. And with these groups, you will get direct prophetic lessons from the prophetess herself. But please visit the table in the foyer to scan the QR code so that you can connect it, get connected with either one of these groups. Our Father in the Lord also has many books and materials. And I always like to say this. If there is something that you are facing in your life, whether it be sickness, whether it be financial struggles, whether it be relationship struggles, there is a book for you. Turn to your neighbor and say, there is a book for you. Hallelujah. You can either go to our bookstore or visit ProfitPassion.com. He has 25 signs to know that you're a prophet. Prophetic Chronicles, Good Evening Holy Spirit, how, how to Know Your Angels, How to Build an Altar, so much more. Our Father in the Lord is a well of knowledge, information, and revelation. Whatever it is that you need, I'm almost sure that you can find it in one of his many, many books that he has written. Amen. So please visit ProfitPassion.com to get connected with those books today. Our Mother in the Lord also has Battle of the Mind, hallelujah. We all need a, two copies of that, amen. One for now and one for later, hallelujah. Because there's always a battle, hallelujah, that we have gone through or will go through within our mind. And it's important that we have the keys to know how to fight in these moments, amen. Amen. So we also have 31 prayers for your husband. So for all of my single women, prophetically, grab this book. Amen. As you are buying this book and purchasing this book, you're saying, I am prophesying into my future. My husband is coming. Amen. Hallelujah. Also for us wives, this book is for us as well. We always have to keep our men of God covered in prayer. Amen. Amen. We also have 21 days of confessions. Look at your neighbor and say, what are you confessing? No, y'all have to say it like this. What are you confessing? Hallelujah. We have 21 days of confessions for you. If you are speaking things and catching yourself saying things that does not really line up with the word of God and you see your life is not going in the way that it needs to go, it's something that you're saying. Amen. It always goes back to what you're saying. We know that the power of life and death lies in what? The tongue. I know y'all been in church. Amen. So please, please, please pick up 21 days of confession to help you along this journey. We also have new merchandise in the store. Hallelujah. New t-shirts. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Put your hands together for that. That's always a great thing, hallelujah, that we're expanding, we're growing in our merchandise department. So please stop by the bookstore and pick up your new merchandise today. We have t-shirts, of course we have the books, we have wristband, we have anointing oil, coffee mugs or tea mugs, depending on if you're a coffee or a tea drinker, amen. We have the mugs there for you. Whatever it is that you need, we have it in our bookstore. So please do not go back to Florida or go back to Oregon or go back to wherever you came from without you're getting something from the bookstore. Amen. 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 And as always, please like, share, follow us on social media. We are on. I'm waiting on y'all. What are we on? Instagram. TikTok. Facebook. YouTube. Put your hands together for yourself. I love a good class. Amen. Hallelujah, hallelujah. So please follow us on all of our social media handles. Also remember, ladies, if you want to connect with the Daughters Group and Ahava Women Telegram Group, please go to the foyer, scan your code, amen, so we can get you connected today. Hallelujah. And that concludes your announcements. Everybody can put your hands together for your announcements. At this time, you all may rise to your feet. Hallelujah. As we welcome the worship team back onto the stage. Everybody put your hands together for the worship team. Amen.
This is the team that ushers in the presence of God. Amen? Amen, amen. Can we just begin to lift our voices in prayer? Sakuba banda de de ose, sukuma mama de de ese keta yas, shoko ta 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 da da de ose. Come on, let's just begin to pray. Let's begin to pray. Let's begin to pray. Let's begin to pray. Shoko baba banda ye de siki yataba, soko baba banda ye se kete osa ta, ko baba bando ye ke. Come on, let's just prepare our hearts to enter into worship. We're grateful today that we can pray unto our Father and we know that He hears us. And we know that he will respond. And we know that when he responds, he's going to give us a complete answer. It's not going to be a halfway answer. It's not going to leave us in confusion. But he, when he responds, he responds completely. And we know that he will not fail. Hallelujah. There is a solution for you today hallelujah if you believe it just say i receive that today that there is a solution for you there is an answer to your prayer he is not going to let you down for he is our firm foundation hallelujah christ is my firm foundation the rock on which i stand when everything around me is shaking I've never been more glad Cause I put my faith in Jesus He's never let me down And He's never let me down He's faithful through generations So why would He fail now? So why would He fail now? He won't he won't come on if you know it just say it with confidence he won't he won't let's say he won't fail he, he won't, won't fail he won't fail he won't fail and i've still got joy in chaos i've got peace that makes no sense so I won't be going under I'm not held by my own strength Cause I built my life on Jesus And He's never let me down He's faithful through generations So why would He fail? Now He won't, He won't Come on and say it with confidence and say he won't. He won't. He won't fail. He won't fail. He won't fail. He won't fail. Say he won't. He won't. Come on, let's declare it and say he won't. He won't. Let's say he won't fail. He won't fail. The rock on which I stand. The rock on which I stand. When everything, when everything around me is shaking. I've never been more glad. I've never been more glad. Cause I built my, I put my faith in Jesus. And he's never let me down. He's never let me down. He's faithful through every season. Just 
one more time. Let's declare he won't. He won't. He won't fail. Say, he won't fail. He won't fail. He won't fail. Just one more time. I've got joy. I've still got joy in chaos. Just one more time. I've got peace. I've got peace that makes no So I won't be going under. I won't be going under. I'm not held by my own strength. I'm not held by my Cause I built my, I built my life on Jesus. He never let me down. He never let me down. He's faithful. He's faithful through every season. So why would he fail now? So why will he fail now? He won't, he won't. Just one more time, just say with all your might. He won't. Let's declare he will not fail. He won't fail. He won't fail. He won't fail. Say he won't. He won't. Um, we're so glad tonight that he won't. He won't. We say he won't fail. He won't fail. He won't fail. He won't fail. My house was built on you. Yes, God. I'm safe with you. I'm going to make it through. Just one more time. Say rain came. Rain came with bloom. My house was built on. I'm safe with you. Say I'm safe with you. How many are glad tonight that your house is built on the Lord? How many are glad that your life is built on a firm foundation? A foundation that's never going to crumble. A foundation that's never going to fail. A foundation that will never be compromised. Because my house is built on you, Jesus. I will not go under. Because my house is built on you, Jesus. I will not fail because my house is built on you, Jesus. I can stand through any situation. I can stand through any temptation because my house is built on you. Somebody just begin to thank God for your house being built on a solid foundation. Can we give praise to the solid foundation? Can we give praise to the rock on which we stand? Come on, let's just declare. Let's say rain came, rain came, rain came, say rain. Rain came with blue. My house, my house was built on you. Let's say I am safe. I am safe. You. I'm gonna make it. I'm gonna make it through. that dwelleth in the secret place of the Most High God yeah. shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. Rain came, wind blew, but I'm abiding under the shadow of the Almighty. Hallelujah. Yeah. There is no weapon that can be formed that will prosper. Somebody just declare no weapon no formed weapon. against me um, shall prosper. Shall Say no weapon formed against me um, shall prosper. The weapon may form, um, but it will not prosper. The weapon may form, but
but it will not prosper. The weapon may form, but it will not prosper because I'm standing up on a solid foundation. And the foundation's name is Jesus. Come on, somebody, and say, rain came, rain came. Let's declare one more time. Say, rain came. Rain came with My house was. My house was built on you. Let's say, I am safe. I am safe with you. I'm going to make it. I'm going to make it through. Rain came, say, rain came with blue. My house, my house was built on you. And I am safe. I'm safe with you. I'm going to make it. I'm going to make it. Just one more time. Say, rain. Time say rain came. Rain came when blue. My house was built on you, and I'm safe with you. I'm safe with you. I'm gonna make it through. I'm gonna make it. Last time rain came. Rain came when blue. My house was built on you, and I am safe with you. I'm safe with you. I'm gonna make it. I'm gonna make it through. Hallelujah, hallelujah, Jesus. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. 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 Everybody say, I'm gonna make it through. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Yes, we are. Hallelujah, hallelujah. I told y'all y'all were going to be in for a treat tonight because we have just transitioned into our testimony portion of the service. <laughs> hallelujah. And what I love so much about testimonies, it, it makes me stand in awe of the God that we serve to see his works in the lives of his people over and over and over and over again. And the God that we serve, he never comes the same way twice. Jesus, such a creative, such a great God, amen, that we serve. So I'm very excited for these testimonies tonight. And the first sister we're going to welcome onto the stage is Sister Rebecca. Everybody put your hands together for her. She is the department leader here for the catering team, amen. Hallelujah. You all may take your seats. Blessings, family. Blessings. Blessings, Kingdom Embassy. Blessings. How are you guys? Blessed and highly favored. How are you guys today? Blessed and highly favored. Amen. First and foremost, I would like to give all the glory and honor to the lover of my soul, Amen. my Lord Jesus. He Amen. is my everything. Amen. Amen. And secondly, I would like to honor my parents in the Lord, Prophet Passion Java. Amen. And my mother in the Lord, Prophetess Lily Java. Amen. Amen. And also all of my leaders. I love you all and the amazing catering team. Amen. Amen. <laughs> all right. So this Easter conference celebration makes one year um, since God gave me a new start at life. Mm. So for those of you that were here last year, around this time, um, let me start from the beginning. Amen. Okay. So last year around this time, um, I had a dream where I was in the middle of a pentagram, which is um, a star, a satanic star. And within that dream, I was surrounded by people that had black cloaks, and it was thick darkness that was surrounding those individuals. 
And so in the dream, I was not able to speak. Like I was in trouble and they were speaking over me. And in this dream, the more they spoke over me, the weaker I became in the dream. Jesus. And so um, as they were speaking over me, I tried to call for help. And even in my dream, I was crying, mm. but I couldn't, no one was coming to rescue me. And then in the far, the far corner, I saw my family. And the more those individuals spoke over me and the weaker I became, mm. the more it was stealing glory from my family. Ooh. And my family members were all watching me, but they didn't have the capacity. They didn't have the strength to rescue me because they were waiting for me to come and rescue them. Ooh. And I woke up from that dream. So um, moving forward, that next week, the following week, I came to church and Papa prophesied to me. He called me out. And he said, Rebecca, you've been marked. And I'm celebrating, like, yes, I've been marked by God. He said, don't celebrate. It's not a good thing. Ooh. You've been marked by witches Jesus. from um, from Africa. And so as soon as he said that, my mind went to the dream that I had had yes. a week before. Yes. And um, Baba began prophesying to me and said that they had marked me and had given me seven days to live. Ooh. Jesus. They had given me seven days to live. And so um, I connected after Papa gave that word. I connected with the word and I connected with the word leaving throughout the week. I was praying, even fasting. Yes. And I, like I, I was in fear. Mm. I was in fear. I was trying to exercise faith, but I would be lying to you all if yeah. I said I was not Come afraid. Yeah. And so um, that Thursday before service, I'm preparing myself for church. And it felt like someone took a hammer and hit me on my back and I couldn't walk. Like I, I was stuck in a position yes. to the point where I couldn't even say Jesus because I was in Ooh. so much pain. Just tears were streaming down Jesus. my face. And I stood in that same position maybe for five minutes or so. And I just like within myself, the Holy Spirit told me, just allow yourself to fall on the ground. Even when I fell on the ground, I screamed because the pain was excruciating. Jesus. When I fell on the ground, I laid there and at the time, my roommate was already here at church, so I had no one to call, mm. right? I couldn't even reach my phone because it was across my room. Yeah. And so um, fast forwarding, um, after that had happened, I had called um, a sister in the church and also um, Pastor Wallace. Mm -hmm. They told me to come to church. Pastor Wallace said, come to church. You guys, <laughs> my my keys and my purse were on the up opposite side, but it seemed like miles away. I literally had to roll over mm -hmm. just to be able to grab my things. And I said, Father, please help me. Jesus. Right. So I came to church. And when I came to church, um, I sat in the back and Papa called me out. He said the reason why like I was walking very slowly, w just tears streaming down my face. He said she's walking like that because there are moving objects that are within her. Oh, and I could physically feel those. It's like things like like snakes, like just crawling all Jesus. over me, especially in my back, even to breathe. Just to inhale and exhale was excruciating pain. Jesus. I have never felt that pain in my entire life. And so then um, Papa and Mama prayed for me. Mama fasted with me that entire week as mm -hmm. well. And after she fasted with me, I had a dream where Mama's angel came in and she was standing wearing a crown and she had a sword of fire Jesus. and was now combating against those people. She's um, in the dream. I was still in that pentagram, but this time Mama's angel came to rescue Ooh, me from there. Jesus. As Mama rescued me and she released fire. You can clap for Jesus. Amen. Amen. You can clap for Jesus. Amen. As um, Mama's angel rescued me within that dream, um, I also was able to rescue my family. And I want to take a moment here yes. and speak to every person that is watching me, those that are here and even those that will watch later. There is no investment. When you invest in God, he is the greatest investment that you can make. Come on. Because what Amen. you're doing is you're not only investing in yourself and Come in on. your own eternal purpose, but you're investing in your family members, Come those on. that have yet to receive Jesus, Jesus, those that have yet to receive the encounters that we have every time Papa, Mama, and our yes. leaders are here ministering yes. to us. So let's not take that for granted. Amen. 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 And so um, afterwards, Papa, um, Mama's angel um, fought for me in the dream. And mm -hmm. as she fought for me, 
Little did I know, the same pain that I was experiencing when I had the attack, my mom in Texas was experiencing the same thing. Ooh, she was experiencing the same thing and no one told me. But then after I spoke with mama, she informed me that sometimes because we are the pillars in our family, yeah. God will allow us to experience the pain mm -hmm. of our family members so we can stand in the gap Come because on. they don't have the access Good. or they don't have the capacity yes. to stand. Amen. Amen. And so as I went through deliverance, my mom also received the deliverance. She experienced the same attacks that I did. Yeah. She wasn't able to walk. So yeah. I made a vow to the Lord that every year around this time, if he gives me the opportunity, I will stand and I will glorify Ooh. his name yes. because I'm not supposed to be standing here in Jesus. front of you all. I was supposed to die last year. They gave me seven days to live. Jesus. Amen. And I am so grateful for the covering that we have of our father and the Lord prophet, Passion Java, our mother and the Lord prophet, Azili Java, our leaders, Pastor Wallace. Every person that comes in this house, there is no way your life will remain hey, the same. Testify. Amen. As Amen. you are here, truly invest in invest in yourself and yes. invest in what God has given you and connect to the grace upon this house. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Put your hands together for this testimony. Our sister said that there was a death notice written over her life. Hallelujah. But because there is a prophet in the land, hallelujah, there's a prophet in the land, amen, hallelujah, that spoke a word in her life, and now today she's standing, she's prosperous, amen, hallelujah, amen, may you receive your prophetic word tonight that will give every dead situation life in Jesus' name, amen, amen, we're going to welcome up our very next testimony. Hallelujah. I told y'all this never, never gets old. Welcome to the stage. Amen. Hallelujah. Put your hands together for her. Tell us your name and where you're from. Um, Christina. Visiting, Blessings, Christina. Visiting from Boston. Boston. Put your hands together for Boston. Boston in the house tonight. Yes. Amen. So about two weeks left to February. So not too long ago, I fasted for three days. And I read the book of Esther, and I fasted, and I was begging God, put me in the palace. Put me in the palace of where to move. Put me in the palace for marriage. Put me in the palace Ooh, to who to learn from. Testify. March 1st, Prophet Passion calls me out, tells me what I'm wearing and where I'm standing in my Yeesh. apartment. He wasn't even on my radar. Like, I just decided to go on that YouTube because I was like, well, he's in my dreams a lot. Let me just, <laughs> let me just Jesus. figure this out. Let's just so go he was it. in your dreams before yes. you started watching him? Yes, which makes me feel a little silly now. <laughs> God was oh telling me the whole God. time. Jesus. And uh, so suddenly I'm here. I went to Daughters, and now here we are, what, about three weeks later, and I'm here again. So this is the palace. This wasn't Come on, on my radar. Come on. Passion, Mama, Lily, they, they're the palace Come on, teachers. get that. And it just it, put, it puts the fear of God in you like this is the palace, this is the palace in heaven. Heaven recognizes this place. Oh my gosh, well, what, what can I clean? Oh God, what can I do for you? This is the palace. Jesus. So, yes, glory to God. Woo, hallelujah. <laughs> hallelujah. All right, all of my online viewers, this testimony was for you. Amen. Connect, connect, connect tonight. Amen. God located her through YouTube. Amen. 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 Everybody say the power of social media. Social amen. Media. Amen. We're looking for people for our social media teams. A quick plug right there. Amen. Hallelujah. We're going to welcome our next testimony to the stage. Everybody put your hands together for her. Amen. <laughs> Hallelujah. Please tell us your name and tell us where you're coming from. Hello, good night. Good night. My name is Jennifer Mundy, Dr. Jennifer Mundy. I'm also one of the associate pastors Amen. at my local church. Amen. I am blessed today. I have many testimonies since connecting with this Testify. house of God. Testify. I'm going to do three quick. Amen. The first one is today. I registered this morning. And I was driving from New York within the prophetic school using my GPS on my phone, not connected to my car, but on my phone. Mm -hmm. I was one hour in travel, meaning that I have two and a half hours to go. Mm -hmm. 
my phone went dead. Mm. Not zero percent, nothing, black screen. I don't know the way. And you know those long journey to get to the rest area. Yes. And I heard the Lord spoke through my car. My dead phone. Jesus. I don't have a GPS connected to my truck. Jesus. And I heard the Lord spoke through the voice of the GPS. Okay, okay, wait, 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 yes. wait. I don't think they heard you correctly. I think like maybe two people heard you. Didn't you say your phone was dead? Dead. Even now, when I went to my hotel, do you see that how it's just a quarter per... It is not yes. even charged. Yes, yes. So it was black. Wow. Dead. Could not turn on. Come on. No sound. I don't have a GPS. But while I was driving and Papa, Prophet Passion Java, released... Come on. That anointing I was receiving. Yeah. And under his grace, uh -huh. God directed me. Uh -huh. Oh my God. Uh -huh. He told me when to turn right. Yeah. He told me when there's a car on the shoulder, a dead phone, no GPS in my car. Jesus. One testimony. The second one. Jesus. I think we need time to rejoice hey. for the first one. <laughs> My God. And I said, I was, I know that's a miracle. All I could say, speak, Lord, thy servant hear it. Right. And I said, I said, no, man. Let, let me try to say if this thing is real. I said, speak, Lord, speak again. He spoke again. Hey. I said, keep on speaking, and he spoke hey, again. Amen. Number two. Hey, Number two. Jesus. Number two. I ministered this message two weeks ago in my church. I got a vision and I saw the Lord gently landing on earth as a shepherd with a staff in his hand. Mm. But he landed in water. Mm. And when I questioned him in the vision... Why didn't you land on earth? And he said to me, if I landed on earth, then the mountains will move out of its place. The valleys and the deep will break up. And the waters in the heaven and on the earth will come together. And earth will move out of its place. And I got up immediately. And I started to talk to the Lord and I remember the last time I was here Papa called me up and released the anointing of interpretation in my Amen. spirit and being in the prophetic classes I was able to interpret the color Come the on. background Come on. what he was wearing Come on. I was it was so plain and another thing that struck me when I got out of the dream and I was going back. I was wide awake, fully awake. I started to ask him, why in that color? Why in that? And he answered me uh -huh. in the vision uh -huh. and out of the vision uh -huh. using the voice of Prophet Passion Java. Amen. And Jesus. that was how the voice that he used. Mm -hmm. And one last thing. Yes. It was like two weeks, two days ago mm -hmm. when Papa said that the Lord is going to, Jesus is going to come and visit you. Those who are in the CC group, the premium classes. Uh -huh. And he said, pray from now. Mm -hmm. And then he said to text me individually. I went to bed in my prophetic hour, three in the morning. I saw Jesus walking towards me. And there was $15,000 on a slate I had. Jesus. And Jesus erased it. And said to me, write the amount that you needed. Ooh. And I connected with that. And today while I was coming up, I said, Prophet Passion is a phenomenal man of God. Wow. He's an unusual Come man on, of God. Testify. There are so many visions that I saw. I saw him seated among with the elders Come on. in the third heavens. Yee. 
I saw him playing and mm. laughing and dancing Jesus. with Peter, James, Paul. Jesus. I saw him at the seat of the table with the elders like Abraham. Ooh, I've seen so many things about him. Amen. But as Mary and I pondered and finally when I was coming up, mm -hmm. you came to my spirit. Mm -hmm. And I said, I need to share this testimony. Yeah. And uh, even when the Lord said to me in that vision that I saw, he said, tell the world that I'm coming back again. Mm -hmm. And I said, Lord, if you told me that, open the way. And I ministered that in my church Jesus. for the world to see on social media. And today he has given me the opportunity. Jesus. And he said something to me very profoundly. He said, with all re due respect, that the pastors in America are confused. Jesus. If it's not you, don't, don't worry. It's not you. Jesus. It's not you. Somebody else. You can Jesus. tweet this or Twitter this. Jesus. But that's what the word of the Lord. And when Jesus. I saw the gray background mm -hmm. in the last prophetic class, Papa said that means confusion. Mm. And when I said, he said the pastors are confused. And so many are leaving the faith. Mm. And when I questioned him, he said, tell the people that I'm coming, tell the world that I'm coming back yes, again. Yes, amen, amen. And I said, Lord, how am I going to, me, little me, little me, how am I going to say that? Mm. I said, the pastors have preached Jesus is coming. Mm. I've been hearing that since we were born. I said, Peter preached it. I was talking to him just as I'm yeah, talking. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I said, John preach it. Mm -hmm. Paul preach it. And I said, you even preach it. Mm -hmm. Jesus. What else am I to say? Jesus. And he said, yes. And this is where the confusion is. The pastors have preached it that I'm coming back again. I was born. That, that I was born and I died. And I rose from the grave. But he said to me, the gospel is not finished. Mm -hmm. It is incomplete. Mm. They need to stress more that I am coming, coming back, back again. Jesus. So he was yes. not only born in a manger. Mm -hmm. He didn't just die on the cross and rose. Mm -hmm. And prophetically, we are in this season. Yes. But the rest of the gospel is coming back again. Amen. I honor this grace. I honor the house. Amen. That I'm able to release this word and the grace of Papa upon my life amen. to God be the glory. Amen, 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 amen. Everybody put your hands together for this testimony. Amen. And as our sister said, the prophetic school is very, very special. It's a place where our Father in the Lord, he releases this information, this knowledge, this revelation. Had she not gone to the last prophetic school, she would not have known how to interpret this dream that she had. Amen. So it's very, very important that you attend, hallelujah, the prophetic school. Amen? Amen. Amen. We still have space for tomorrow. If you're interested, please register at prophetpassion.com. It's for every single one of us in this journey in our walk with the Lord. Amen? Amen? Amen. 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 At this time, you all may rise to your feet as we welcome the worship team to the stage. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. As we go into a time hallelujah. of worship and prayer, hallelujah. hallelujah, center your mind, center your focus, hallelujah, hallelujah, on the things above. So as the prophet comes out, amen, that he will locate you, he will speak a word that will truly lift you, that will truly shift you, elevate you, catapult you into your next and your higher dimension in God. Amen? Amen. Hallelujah. Can we lift our voices and begin to pray? Come on, before the prophet makes his entrance, let's just begin to pray. Come on, let's pray, let's pray. Let's pray that the Lord will locate you tonight. Let's pray that his word will locate you tonight. Sukuma mamanda ya da ke, eko ya tanda ya da sokea, aroku ye de okaya se, zik 
Come on, lift your voice and begin to pray. Lift your voice and begin to pray. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on, let's not grow weary. Let's not grow weary. Let's not grow weary. But lift your voice and pray. Come on, for just 60 more seconds, let's just begin to pray. Come on, let's charge this atmosphere with prayer. Men are to always pray. Men are to always pray. Men are to always pray. And not faith. Men are to always pray. Sikaya de Oroshea. Rukunde Adakaye. Arokuya de Adabase. Shikama Mama Makaya. Shikande Adakuya Sikaya. Shukuma Mama Mandea. Eleya de Okoya Dayanaba. Wokuya de Asea. Wokuya Bashekaya. Lift your voice and begin to pray. Hey, can we begin to give a God a shout of praise? Come on, let's give him a shout of praise. Hallelujah! Come on, let's give him a shout of praise. From the depths of your soul, cry hallelujah. From the depths of your soul, cry thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah! 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 We're going to pick up the pace a little bit. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And we are just going to declare that our God is able. Hallelujah. He can do exceedingly abundantly above all that we could ask or think. Hallelujah. So come on, somebody. Let's just begin to just shout unto God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. For just being able. Knowing that he is going to supply our needs. Knowing that he is going to meet us right where we are. Knowing that he is going to meet our needs. Meet the needs of our family. Answer prayers. Hallelujah. We serve an able God. Yes, we do. Come on, put your hands together like this. I dare somebody just to get excited. Just shout unto God in this place. Clap your hands like this. your hands like this. Clap your hands like this. Sick. Just one time, one time. Let me hear them clap. Come on, clap, let's clap. Clap, 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 hey. All right, come on, come on. Hey. Listen, God is able to do just what he said he would do. He's going to fulfill every promise to you. Don't give up on God, because he won't give up on you. Say he's able. Say he's able. He's able. I know he's able. Yes, he is. I know he's able. Come everybody. Say God is. God is able to do just what he said he would do. He's going to fulfill. Yes, he's yes. going to fulfill every promise to you. Don't give up on God. Don't give up on God. Because he won't. Because he won't give up. Say he's you. able. He's able. Say, say he's able. He's able. Say, I know he's able. Yes, he is. I know he's able. 
more time. Say God is. God is able, able to do just what he said. Just what he said he will do. He's gonna fulfill. Yeah. He's gonna fulfill every promise. Every promise to you. So don't give up on us. Don't give up on God. Cause he won't. Cause he won't give up. Say he's able. He's able. Say, I know he's able. I know he's able. Say he's able. The part says it goes, oh, 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 he's able. Catch it, okay? Oh, 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 he's able. Help me sing it. Say, oh, 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 say, oh, 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 he's able. We say, oh, 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 he's able. Say, he's able. Say he's able. He's able. I know he's able. I know he's able. One more time. God is able. God is able to do just what he said. Just what he said he would do. He's gonna fulfill. He's gonna fulfill every promise. Every promise to you. Don't give up on God. Don't give up on God. Cause he won't. Cause he won't give up. Say he's able. He's able. Say oh, 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 he's able. Somebody say oh, 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 he's able. He's able. Somebody declare oh, 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 he's able. Say he's able. Oh, 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 he's able. Somebody say he's able.
Clap your hands to Jesus. You can clap better than that. You can clap better than that. Clap your hands to Jesus. Hallelujah. 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 Bless somebody next to you. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost. Bless somebody in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost. Mabara se tetere Today, is the day Judas received the money. <laughs> Glory to God. Father, thank you for your word. Speak it to us, Rematos and Logos, that we may eat the bread and not live only by bread, but by every word coming out from your mouth. Take us to another dimension, and I pray that you squeeze your power upon each and every hand that is in the house. And I pray that you be glorified in this house. In Jesus' name I pray. Somebody lift your voice and shout, Amen. You may be seated in Jesus' name. If there be anybody in the house who has no sin, exit the door right now. <laughs> anybody who has no sin, maybe we have one. <laughs> exit the door. <laughs> it's so interesting that when a pastor is caught smoking marijuana, he loses the whole church. But if a church member is smoking marijuana, it's okay. Because we have grown to be so judgmental. But I don't believe God needs a helper to judge anybody. And the church is full of police officers these days. More than people that are crying in repentance to God. And I will tell you this, that hateful people hate others. And sinful people crucify people that are caught in sin. Because they feel like they are doing something for God to pass their own sins. But I'll say this without any fear of contradiction that I am more sinful than everybody in the house. That's why I'm given more grace than everybody in the house. Because where sin is, grace is abundant. So I'm the most graced man because I'm the most sinful person in the house. That's why Paul breaks to be the greatest apostle. I am the greatest apostle. When it comes to visions, no apostle see visions like me. When it comes to speaking in tongues, I speak 10,000 words in tongues. He's bragging how God have lifted him from a murderer to become the greatest apostle. Then goes to Romans chapter number 7. And he began to cry with agony, saying, O oh, wretched man that I am. Who shall deliver me from this bondage of sin? When I want to do good, I find myself doing what is bad. 
When I don't want to do bad, I find myself doing what is bad. The greatest apostle is the greatest sinner at the same time. I wish people to understand and accept the truth. When you see Joe Austin being used by God, when you see Joyce Meyer being used by God, it's because they have too much grace over their lives. Because the more gifted you are, the bigger the thorn you carry. And the poor cried unto God and says, God, remove this thorn from my flesh. But God says in reply, my grace is sufficient. God did not say I'm going to remove the thorn. He said my grace is sufficient. So whenever you see yourself struggling with sin, you better bow your knees to Yahweh. So that the more grace you are given, the more you suppress sin. God is not going to remove it, but he's going to suppress it by the power of grace. I wish I can prophesy tonight and expose every sin in the house. Because you make me feel like I'm the only body with sin. I don't think your makeup is going to fool me. You look so fine in that suit, but I know you are struggling on the inside. That's why God gave me the grace to talk to you. Because if you have not gone to hell, you are not qualified to talk to me. If you have never felt like walking away, you are not qualified to talk to me. If you have never felt like committing suicide, you are not qualified to talk to me. If you never thought of giving up your marriage, you are not qualified to talk to me. It has to be somebody that went to hell and survived hell who can qualify to come and say everything is going to be all right. So I went to hell so that I may be qualified to talk to you. I went through junk so that I may be able to talk to you. So don't even feel guilty coming to me because I have been where you are right now. Don't feel like I'm going to judge you. The only pastors that can judge you because of sin are pastors that have not gone through what you're going through. That's why he took you out from your old church. Because the level God is about to place you. Your pastor is not in that level. So your pastor was a stepping stone to, for you to become what you have become. But I came to prophesy to somebody that there is a grace that God is going to release over your life. Uh, have you ever been there where you wanted to quit but you couldn't? You wanted to stop but you couldn't? He was so demonic, sexy like hell that you couldn't say no. It's because God was exposing you to a higher dimension. And the Bible says, whoever breaks through a hedge shall be beaten by a snake. There are people that are living with snakes right now because God has promoted you to be in a higher. I want to prophesy so deep tonight. Camera, give me space, please. Uh, I used to, I used to prophesy people back in the days. I saw you in room number 414. I used to tell somebody, the Lord is saying, your second child doesn't belong to this man. Until God have to break me so bad. And break me so bad. And break me so bad. 
and break me so bad and break me so bad that I stopped being judgmental. And I asked God, why are you breaking me and breaking me and breaking me like this? And the answer by revelation was, if I break bread one time, I can feed one person. If I can break the bread two times, I can feed two people. If I can break the bread four times, I can break four people. But if I break it and cut 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 it, everybody in here can be able to feel the taste of bread. There are people in here who don't know why you are being broken and broken and broken because God is qualifying you to talk to somebody and reach out to another body and reach out to thousands of people. Don't see the feeling like you are just a church member. You are in the grooming for what God is about to do around the world through you. Ah, I feel like... I'm looking at Jesus now who came with two faces. The first face was a lion. The second face was a lamp. So Jesus came as the lion of the tribe of Judah. And he came as the lamp of God. But he didn't start as a lamp. He started as a lion. When he walks into the jungle, every animal runs. Because they feel the king of the jungle is here. Every time he steps in a place, demons manifest. 6,000 demons are running away from him. Because of the power he carries. He raises somebody from the dead because of the power he carries. He would change water into wine because of the power he carried as a lion. But you can't be a lion forever. You need to use the face of a lamp. So when Jesus became a lamp, he had to go on the cross and die. But for him to go and die on the cross, he needed a Judas. And Jesus was full of the Holy Spirit enough to understand that when God is about to promote him, he exposes people around him, not to be people that fight him, but people that fight for him. The problem you have is you think people are fighting you. You don't know that people are fighting for you. You don't know somebody is being used by God for you to lose your job. Because that is not where God wants you to be. Rejection is also direction. God is directing you to the cross. But you are sitting there saying, I need my Judas to always be loyal to me. Judas is loyal to the assignment of God, not to you. And the assignment of God over Judas is to betray you. You are sitting there wanting Judas to dance according to your play. But Judas is supposed to dance according to God's play. But the problem is you want to stop every Judas. And show the Judas that you are powerful. I wish I could prophesy God to expose every Judas in your life. But you are too weak to let go of somebody around you. You are too weak. That's why you are having a heartbreak. Because your heart is not yet strong enough to handle whatever it takes to go through a Judas experience. I took you Judas from the mud. I gave you value Judas. I made you special Judas. But after all that I did good for you, you still have the guts to betray me. You still have the guts to sow me. You sell me for 30 pieces of silver. But the prophetic word is when Judas time come, let Judas go. 
You are busy forcing things that God is removing from your life. You are busy dragging back people God is removing in your life. You feel like you have the power to let go for two days, for one week, and then you are weak. I don't know who I'm prophesying to. But your betrayer was not from the devil, it was from God. When betrayal comes, it's your own mama. It's your own husband. It's people that you brought closer to you by trust. It wasn't Peter who betrayed Jesus. It wasn't John who betrayed Jesus. John was the most loved disciple. Peter was the most favored disciple. But Judas was the most trusted. I can love somebody I don't trust. But I can't trust you with my money if I don't really trust you. That means the person on the heart of Jesus was not anybody else but Judas. And when God wants to take you to another dimension, he doesn't use people that are far away from you. He uses people that are in your heart. Who is in your heart right now? Is your husband? He is going to use your husband to take all the money in your savings. Go burn it in the casino overnight. Not the money he worked, the money you worked for. I'm prophesying to somebody right there. He's going to use your partner to bring a girlfriend in your own house that you opened the door for him. Because he himself don't have a house. Because when betrayal comes, it's taking you to a dimension where God wants you to be. Because when God wants to bless you, he adds in order to subtract so that he may multiply. But the problem is when God adds, you are holding on to what he added in your life. When he's busy subtracting in order to multiply. God says there is a dimension higher and bigger than what you have ever heard or seen. What I'm about to do with you, no eye have seen, no ear have heard, no hand have handled. I'm about to do a thing that if told, you will not believe. I have a question before I go to the next stage. Are you ready for your Judas? Are you ready to walk in your bedroom and see your husband with your sister? You busy shouting, let Judas season and come. Are you ready for it? Are you strong enough to handle it? Are you strong enough to see your own mama putting juju stuff from the obia men on your own child? Are you strong enough for a Judas? Are you strong enough for a Judas? If you are strong enough, you should be the one to say Judas. God already revealed to me. You have to hurry and do it now. <laughs> Jesus said, Judas... Satan have entered you. You better rush and do what you got to do. If it was me, I would have said, you see, one of you is a devil. But I need to deliver you before you expose me. <laughs> but Jesus was so ready that I don't care how I'm going to be betrayed. I don't care what I'm going to go through. Let the will of God prevail. 
Are you ready enough to say, God, let your will be done in my life as it is in heaven? I don't care if I lose my dog. I don't care if I lose my cat. I don't care if I lose my husband. I don't care if I lose my integrity as long as I am in your will. Judas, Judas, where are thou? Why are you having a frowning face? I saw it in a dream last night. My husband is said, You are not ready. When you see it in a dream, you should wake up smiling and say, God is taking me to a higher dimension. I'm no longer a lion right about here. I'm now a lamp at this time. I don't know who I'm talking to. That's why everything is taking you by surprise. Because if God tells you, you're going to hang yourself. God can reveal it to you. Because you don't know how to take it. Then when Judas saw Jesus, he still had the guts to come back to Jesus. Are you able to forgive your Judas? Are you able to accept back your Judas? And welcome back your Judas. Only if you are ready, you can welcome your Judas. Your wife cooked and put some poison in the pot. Only that you saw it on the camera, that's how you survived. She coming back to say, I'm sorry. And I want you back in my life. Are you ready to say, Judas, welcome back? I'm not ready. I don't know about you. I'm not ready. You put poison in my food. You wanted me dead. I don't need to say go back to your mother's house. I'm going to my mama's house. <laughs> Judas, you know what come here. I'm going to post you on Facebook. In case I die tomorrow, people should know what happened to me. Maybe you're coming back to finish me back. You're coming back to finish what you started. I'm telling you the truth. I'm not strong that way. But I believe somebody in here is strong enough. Somebody in here is strong enough to handle back the Judas. Because Judas is not just coming back to say, I'm sorry. He's coming to kiss you. Mwah. Mwah. He's not kissing you because he loves you. He's kissing you as a sign that he is the one. Take that one. And you are ready to say, Judas, I'm welcoming you and I'm forgiving you. And when they took Jesus, about to chain him, thank God there was a Peter that was there for Jesus no matter what. You always have a friend that is always there for you no matter what. No matter the hell, the thunder, the what and the what, there is a friend that will die for you. And I wish you can have somebody that can die for you. Do you know what he did? He cut somebody's ear. It's gone. But Jesus understood that if Peter is allowed to cut the ear, they're going to set him up so that Peter also shall be hanged on the cross. So what Jesus did was to take the ear and put it back so that when the soldier complains and open a court case to say, Peter cut my ear, they will say, where is the evidence? God told me to tell somebody. 
you mess up but i am fighting for you you mess up but i'm going to clean you you mess up but i'm going to fix it i'm gonna put back the ear so that the devil will not destroy you with the evidence of your sin i know you have sinned but i have covered you under the blood so that when i begin to use you to preach my gospel people that don't destroy you with the evidence of your past people can destroy you with your present but they can always destroy you with your past but i'm taking care of the past no 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 i'm talking to right here i'm taking care of your past because he who is in christ is a you all things have passed away i don't want to hear about your abortion anymore i don't want to hear about you cheating anymore i don't want to hear about you lying anymore i don't want to hear about you being a drunkard i want to hear you preaching my gospel I came to prophesy somebody that no weapon formed against you shall be able to prosper because Jesus is putting back the air to cover your mistakes. You can't stop Judas, Peter. You got to allow Judas season to go. Kaya radabasa. I wonder which one among you is my Judas. I wonder. God, I'm not ready for Judas. They chained Jesus. Before they chained him, they asked the question, are you the one? He didn't say, I am the one. He said, I am. He said, I am. Because when Moses was going to Egypt, he said, who shall I say have sent me? And God says, God say, I am. That I am. I am, he have sent thee. So Jesus is confirming, I am the one. Peter is not the one. John is not the one. But Lonomy is not the one. I am. And they chained him. And they took him to Pilate. And Pilate washed his hands. Because when the priest was to sacrifice, before he entered into the outer court, to the inner court, he would wash his hands. That meant Jesus is about to die for all our sins. But when he went to Herod, he said not even a word. Because Herod was a murderer who beheaded John the Baptist. So he was saying, John the Baptist is my prophet. And a prophet is the voice of God. And I am the word of God. How can you hear a word if you have silenced my voice? God is saying to somebody, don't fight back. When you're in the Judas experience, let people talk about you, but don't talk back. Let people do you evil, don't do evil back. Let people mistreat you bad, don't mistreat them bad. Let people do anything against you, but don't be against anybody. Be still and know that I am your God. Because the battle is not yours. The battle is mine, says the Lord. God is saying, just chill. Yeah. Things are bad, but just chill. Hold your peace. The battle is not yours. The battle is of the Lord. Somebody is lying at you, keep quiet. Somebody is cheating on you. Keep quiet. Somebody stealing from you, remain quiet. Because God is saying, I'm going to handle your business. You don't need to handle your business. Your duty is to look up at me. And talk to me like I'm your daddy. 
Because if you can just talk to me, vengeance is mine, says the Lord. So they took Jesus. They whoop his back. 39 stripes. If you allow your phone to ring, make sure it's an iPhone, please. <laughs> they whooped his back. 39 stripes. Because if they are 40, he will die. And there are 39 categories of diseases. That is why the Bible says, by his stripes, we were healed. I don't know if you are here and you feel sick. There's going to be a healing tonight. I don't care what type of sickness is in your body. Sickness from your bloodline, sickness from your past, whatever sickness, by his tribe. We're coming there. Then they took Jesus and they put a cross on him. And one thing I like about the cross is when it's standing, it's a plus sign. But if you're holding it, it's a multiplication sign. Whenever you're going on the cross, God is about to multiply you. Remember, God adds in order to subtract it that he may multiply you. Then they place him on the cross. Can I have three people here? Dress nice. Three people to come up. One, two, three. They are all single guys. Please zoom them out. I, I don't know about single. My, my single means they are not married yet. So, you come this side, you come this side. This is Jesus, as you can see. These are thief, as you can see. And these are another thief, as you can see. This thief is representing the church. And this thief is representing the world. And Jesus is representing you. The church here is TBN. The world here is CNN. I'm looking at the cross and I'm believing the church is for Jesus. But it is the church that is saying, if you are the son of God. The church is always the one with questions for God. The world already knows there is God in heaven. It is somebody praying in the church saying, God, if you are really there. People in the world already believe he is there. But people in the church are saying, God, if you are there. We don't talk if. Let me go deeper. People come to church because they believe in God. Right? But if you really believe in God, will you come to church? If I believe in God, will I come to church? Come. Is Korea in Asia? Do you believe that you're Asian? You can't believe to be Asian. You got to know you are Asian. You are not hearing me? You have to know that you're Asian. I don't believe I'm black. (laughs) 
I know I'm a chocolate. I don't know if you understand. So CNN already know about God. But the church is the one questioning if you are the son of God. Bring yourself down. I came to prophesy to somebody. We don't answer if. Because we don't doubt who we are. It is only certain that have an if language. If you are the son of God, change the stone to become bread. We don't reply to if. What if you will not be married? The devil is a liar. I'm already married. I'm waiting for the manifestation. What if you won't drive your Bugatti? I already have one waiting for manifestation. What if you don't become a powerful prophetess? I'm already one waiting for the time for manifestation. I'm already anointed. I'm already powerful. I'm already delivered. I'm already there. I just wait for the manifestation. Don't come here with the talks of the devil. If you are the prophet of God, if you can hear from God, if you are, there is no if with our God. Our God is able to deliver us from fire. They said, what if not? They said, we're still going to praise him. What if he's not there? We're still going to praise him. Why? Because we know he is there. My child can be sick. I know he is there. My child can be dead. I know he is there. My finances can be bad. I know he's there. His existence has nothing to do with my problems. My problems come and go, but my God abides forever and ever. If you are, put yourself down. Jesus was supposed to respond downwards. But Jesus never talked to anybody down there. Jesus lifted up his head up. Eloi, Eloi, la sapakatani. Because every time we mess up, we don't confess down. Because if you confess down, everybody in the church is going to know your business. Be careful who you talk to. Because everybody below you wants to pull you down. Jesus' cross was to lift him higher. As Moses lifted up a snake, I shall be lifted on the cross. So the cross is supposed to lift up Jesus. But the church is saying, if you are God, bring yourself down. Enemies always want you down. But I came to say you don't belong downstairs. You belong upstairs. I may be down, but I don't belong down. I'm just a seed dying on the ground to come up higher and higher. If you are the son of God, bring yourself down. But the CNN says, no. We deserve to be on the cross because we are sinful people. But this man, this man doesn't deserve to be here. It is people in the world that can call me a prophet. It is people in the church that can call me a sorcerer. Because the church is full of police officers. Church is full of Judas. Judas was not found in the world. Judas was found in the church. The people that went to crucify Jesus are Pharisees from the church. Sadducees from the church. The high priest from the church. It was not drunkards that crucified Jesus. It was the church that crucified Jesus. I wish I can talk to somebody tonight. That is why the church is not growing. 
A man was in church. And he did not have an iPhone. Then his phone rang in the church. And the pastor shouted at him. And told him never to come back to my church. He feels so bad. Never came back to church after that. He was in the bar. Few weeks later drinking. Johnny Walker. A lady sat next to him and he became nervous. So when the bottle came to be poured for the lady, he tripped and the bottle broke. He felt ashamed and embarrassed and wanted to run away because he felt he's in trouble. But everybody cheered and clapped their hands for him. And he bought the alcohol for the lady. And he told him it's all right. And from that day, he never left the bar. Because he failed to be in the right place. Never came back to church. Because he felt he was the worst sinner that it's everybody here to judge in the house of God. I don't have a problem with people in the world. Because they don't have to be hypocrite about anything. I have people in the church that are sententious, pretentious. Hypocrites wants to pretend as if everything is perfect with them. That when somebody impregnates you, they look at you like you are the worst sinner in the world. Not because they are not like you, simply because their plastic never broke. But I came to prophesy to somebody in here never judge anybody. Because every time you point at somebody, three fingers are pointing back at you. Because you are worse than somebody you are judging. I came to prophesy to somebody that God is about to lift you higher. Don't allow anybody to talk you down. Don't allow anybody to bring you down. As they are on the cross. The church is on a door to go to heaven. The world is on a door to go to hell. But it flipped. The church couldn't admit to be sinful. If you are the son of God. Bring yourself down. The other one downstairs, the priest says, oh, you said you can break down the temple and build it in three days. If you are that powerful, save yourself. The church is crying for Jesus to save himself. Because the church doesn't want Jesus to save you. The greatest miracle was Jesus to remain on the cross. Because if he would have brought himself down from the cross, I would not be saved. My sins would not have been forgotten. But remember this. The greatest miracle on the cross was because Jesus never went down. He remained on the cross. And Jesus being on the cross, he went backwards to forgive the sin of Adam. The sin of Moses, the sin of Elisha, the sin of Ezekiel, the sin of Jeremiah, the sin of Nehemiah, the sin of Aaron, the sin of everybody in the past, and the sin of people crucifying him on the cross, and then went into the future to forgive everybody who is not yet born. So, Pastor. Who are you to judge me today when he forgave my sins before I was born? Tell your neighbor your sins are forgiven, washed and buried under the blood. Under the blood. My sins are washed and forgiven. 
That's why I have one million reasons to worship God. Because I don't deserve to stand in front of you. You don't deserve to step in this building. But when he looked at you, he did not judge you. But he died for your sins. Mahomet could not die for your sins. Buddha could not die for your sins. But Jesus. Jesus is a lamb. He had all power, all authority. But we never saw all power when he was a lion. We saw some power. But the devil didn't know who Jesus was. So he said, let me crucify him on the cross to stop him. Because the devil doesn't have a clue of who you are. Until your Judas exposes who you are. I came to say your Judas is not there to destroy you. But to manifest you. You are a gift that the world has not seen yet. Wrapped inside of you. But a gift wrapped can never be seen is power. Unless we unwrap the gift. So Jesus was the God inside the flesh. We will never experience God unless we destroy the flesh. So they took a spear. And they pierced him on the side. The Bible says water and the blood gushed out. Who here at Abashata? To fulfill the scripture that out of your belly shall flow. Rivers. The flesh was the bridge which was blocking the river. Something on the outside is blocking the ability in you. That's why I'm calling every Judas right now. The devil thought he fixed you by putting you in poverty. But poverty was a raping box. That was keeping you as a gift. Because if you were prosperous before your time, the devil would have destroyed you before your time. The devil allowed by God to bring sickness around you. That HIV was a raping box that it kept you alive in order for God to use you. I came to say never complain. Over what you are going through. Because where God has put you, it's called a hiding place. He is hiding you so that your mama might not know who you are. He is hiding you so that your uncle don't know who you are. Everybody thinks you are just a nobody. Because God has his hand over your life. Hiding you, covering you, protecting you. Do you know how many times you would have died? But God's hand was upon your life. Do you know how many times you were in a car accident? But he covered you. You were supposed to be on that bridge last week. But he caused you to sleep. Because she was protecting your life. Death is calling you, but death cannot hold you. Because you are a gift which God says you can die. But you shall live and declare the works of the living God. I don't know who I'm prophesying to. But as for me, I would have died years ago. But God's hand was upon my life. I don't know who I'm prophesying. But can I go deeper before I go higher? You went raw. But HIV never touched you. Because the hand of God was upon your life. I don't know how many times you were in a mess. But God is saying, by my blood I have cleansed you. It's a time that God is saying. 
I'm opening the package. I'm removing the package to show the whole world how anointed you are. I'm showing the world how powerful you are. You've been broke for a long time, but you were broke for a reason. Touch your neighbor, say neighbor. I'm broke for a reason. Touch your other neighbor. And say neighbor, neighbor. I would have died, but I'm still here. I would have given up, but I'm still here. I thought I would not make it, but I'm still here. Look at me again. I'm still cute. I'm still beautiful. I'm still handsome. Still powerful. Still anointed. So I'm not scared of anything. Because when I look at my past, my God got history. He's the same God that covered Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego from the furnace of fire. I don't care what hell I mean. I rejoice in hell because I know I don't deserve to be here but I'm walking through hell to go to heaven can I go deeper that's why Jesus when he died he did not go to heaven but he went to hell touch your neighbor say neighbor neighbor Jesus could not go up without reaching out to me in hell he came to hell where I was crying. He came to hell where I was suffering. He came to hell where I was bound by demon. When he saw me in hell, he said, you are my daughter. You are my son. You are my children. Hold my hand. I said, God, but I'm a liar. God, I'm a trickster. God, I'm a fornicator. God, I'm a woman abuser. God, I'm a man abuser. God, I'm evil. God, I'm wicked. God, I'm junk. God, I'm dirty. And he says, don't worry. You may be dirty, but my blood, my blood, the blood of Jesus is washing you right now. He is washing your lying lips. He is washing your murdering hands. He is washing your past. He is cleansing you and making you whole. High five for neighbor. Say, neighbor, I used to be junk, but Jesus has made me whole. But Jesus has forgiven my sins. He is holding my hand. He is walking with me. He says, I will never leave you, nor forsake you. I don't care where you are. I don't care who you are. I will never leave you. I will never forsake you. I will never give up on you. Keep on crying. Keep on praying. Keep on shouting. I will never leave. I will never forsake you. Hold me, my son. Hold me, my daughter. Walk with me. Lord, thank you. I'm coming out of hell. Thank you. I'm coming out of cancer. Thank you, Jesus. I'm coming out of depression. Coming out of heartache. Coming out of pain. Coming out of suffering. Coming out of depression. So, hey. So, I walk through the valley of the shadow I fear no evil because thou thou not Judas not Peter not my mother not my husband not my Judas but thou art with me you will never leave me nor forsake me touch somebody Say somebody, it's our time. It's our time to lift 
except the name of God. I am here, not because I should be here, but I'm here because of Jesus. I'm here because God loved me when I was smoking. He loved me when I was shishering. He loved me when I was whoring. He loved me when I was prostituting. He loved me when I was a drunkard. He said, you are my son. You are my daughter. Hold me by the hand. And I'm walking with Jesus. When he took me out of hell, he said, let's go to heaven. Touch somebody. Say, neighbor, it's time for heaven. After Judas, we go to heaven. I've been betrayed. I deserve heaven. I've been lost. Now I'm found. Let's go to heaven. Let's go to heaven. Let's go to heaven. When we get to heaven, we shall lift our hands and say hallelujah. 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 Hosanna. Hosanna. To the King of Kings, to the Lord of Lords, to Yahweh. Clap your hands, move your feet, praise Yahweh, worship Yahweh. Thank the Lord Jesus for dying on the cross. Thank the Lord Jesus for dying on the cross. I was suffering, but weeping me and you every night. Joy, joy, joy is moving in my spirit. I feel like lifting up the name of Jesus for two minutes. Lift your voice and scream with a scream of worship. Scream, scream with a scream of worship. Match ba 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 ba. Match ba 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 ba. He died for your sins. He died for you. He died for you. Lift your voice and scream, scream. Scream your lungs out and praise Jesus. Yeah. If you can worship, if you can praise, He is going to hell for you. To take your son from hell. To take your husband from hell. To take your life from hell. Are you ready to lift him up? Because if you can lift him up, he is going to hell for you. Hala. 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 Jesus. 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 Hala, Jesus. If you can hala. He's going to hell to fix your issue and take you out of hell and put you in heaven. Holla if you can. Holla. 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 He deserves your voice. He deserves your worship. 
He deserved to be given back His glory. He died for you. Ah. 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 I feel. Somebody scream, shout as you shout every wall of limitation is falling down flat. Scream, 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 scream. My sins were higher than the mountain. My sins were deeper than the ocean. But he died for me. That makes me wonder, who am I? That Lord you are mindful of. I'm in his thoughts. Who am I? There is no sin. There is no sin that he cannot forgive. I know the church have labeled types of sin to make you feel guilt about your sin. But Romans chapter 8 verse number 1 says, There is therefore now no condemnation to those that are in kingdom embassy. There is now no condemnation. But the church has become the most judgmental place. That makes you feel like you're a nobody. Makes you feel like you don't deserve here. From the eye the usher gives you when you're walking here with your mean skirt. And you're wearing your tights. And the usher give you that eye. That eye. Really? Really? This? In the house of God. Come on, 
There could be somebody in here who have never given his or her life to Jesus. Who want to make that outer call to say, God, from today I'm in your hands. I want to be your child. I want to live for you. I want you to use me. I want you to do as you please with me. If you are there, I want you to come forward. You feel like giving your life to Jesus. Come. Come. Make that decision in your heart. Because coming to church and receiving Jesus is totally different things. Some people are in church for work. Some people are in church because family is coming to church. But are you here to make a decision today? To say, I want to receive Jesus Christ. And be my Lord and my Savior. If you are there, come. Come. Draw. If you are there, walk forward. And receive Jesus in your heart. After you draw me, draw me, draw me, Lord. I'll come and I'll come running after you. If you would draw. Anybody else who wants to receive Jesus, come. Draw me. Draw me, Lord. Draw me, Lord. Oh, Jesus. I'll come running, I'll come running after you. Oh, Rada Baba 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 Draw me, Lord. Draw me, Lord. Oh, I'll yes, Lord. I'll come running. I'll come running after you. Draw me. Draw. Somebody else who wants to receive Jesus, come. The Bible says, if one person gives his self to Jesus, there will be joy in heaven that even angels will throw a part. For the last time, if you are here and you want to receive Jesus, give your life to Jesus and live for him. Come. Draw me, Lord. Oh, yes, Lord. And I'll, I'll come, come running after you. Draw me. Draw. We are going to pray for these people. And Jesus is going to be in their hearts from today. What's your name? What's your name, sir? Sylvester. Do you want to receive Jesus? Do you want to live for him? 
The Bible says, if you believe in your heart that Jesus is Lord and that he died for your sins and the Father raised him from the dead and confess with your mouth that Jesus is Lord, you shall be saved. And when you pray the prayer we're going to pray, the Bible says you are now a new creation in Christ. Lift your hands. We're all going to pray together with them. Say, Father, Father I, come before you. I come before you. I have sinned, I have sinned. but I bring myself to you. I give you my life. I give you my life. I open the door of my heart. I open the door of my heart. And I say, Lord Jesus. And I say, Lord Jesus. Come into my heart. Come into my heart. Be my Lord. Be my Lord. Be my Savior. Be my Savior. From today. From today. I am yours. I am yours. My life. My life. Is yours. Is yours. Be in me. Be in me. Today. And forever, and forever in Jesus, name. in Jesus' name. Clap your hands for them in Jesus' name. Oh, so, Mr. Sylvester, I'm giving you my son Kendrick. He's going to make sure he raises you good in prayer. Amen. He help you to read the Bible and to grow you in Christ. Amen. You exchange numbers. We hope to be seeing you here. And both of you, I give you Sister Ruth at the end. She'll take care of both of you. Amen. Clap your hands for Jesus, somebody. Amen. Thank you. Can I prophesy? Prophesy! Take it, sis. I didn't want to prophesy, I don't know. Prophesy! Prophesy! Pro! Prophesy! But I'm going to try. There's somebody who has documents around here, documents that are pending. What is that? Huh? Come. What is that? What is that? Huh? It's coming in a few weeks. Amen. Do what you got to do. It's on the way. English? What language is that? Spanish. Ah, Spanish. Espanol. <laughs> Spanish. Tell God is going to use her as an intercessor in the house of God. I see God using you. I see God using you. Amen. And I see her covering you in prayer. That's why her coming here was not easy. Because the devil didn't want her to come. Because there is a work of God for you here. In the fullness of time, I see you guys in Chicago. Where God is going to use you in a mighty way. Hallelujah. You are in a place Amen. where God is preparing you for the future. The papers are already in progress. Your papers are already in progress. By October, I see a with, with a paper. I see a smiling. God is opening that door. Welcome to America. God is saying to you, go into a prayer and fasting. Amen. He is preparing you for greatness. You. Amen. What you thought God is doing for you is nothing. Amen. There is a greater future for you. Amen. I'm seeing hundreds of thousands of people. Amen. There's a prophecy that you gave me on June 2nd, and it's already happening right now. 
what, I, I, what did I, I say? I'm going to explode and give, give a testimony here, but I'm going to give testify. you testify. Testify. So you gave me a prophecy here, or one of the prophecy. You remember I came up one time, I came up wine color. Remember that? The white guy with suit? The hat? I had a wine color suit. Somebody remember him? Yeah. With a white suit? Yes. All right. I, I will bring a picture on Saturday, tomorrow, when I came. If you tell me the prophecy, I remember. What did okay, I say? Okay, you prophesied to me here, and you said, the guy will use you on um, prophecy, the guy will use you uh, 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 on the radio. And right now, I opened a church in Nicaragua right now. And the church, we, have, we had 150 people on, on Sunday last week. And that has been a blessing. The door has opened to me so, to me so much. You also prophesied that God was going to lift up millionaires. I, I, I really got over a million dollars in my account. Yay! So, so it's a movement of God in this yeah. church. That God is bringing What a church. mighty Hallelujah. God we serve. Oh, Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Hey. Hey. I tell you now that this anointing is tangible and real. Amen. So I'm, I'm a when we do this and you fall down, something is being transferred. You don't just go down and come back and you feel like something is changing in that atmosphere. Amen. And I believe a line of prophet, uh, That's prophet. why the church is saying to Jesus on the cross, if you are the son of God, do the remote control and come down. Sorry? I believe, I believe a line in sacrifice. Me and my wife have been sacrificing. We have sacrificed before cars. And now we sacrificing, uh, we have sacrificed in the church a lot and God has blessed us a lot. We've been blessed. Like, God has given you land. God has opened the doors on the church. That's been powerful. Amen. And I thank God for the ministry. I thank God for you, Papa. Papa. More is going to happen. Yes. More is going to happen. Amen. God was telling me before you began to testify that what you thought you are doing is nothing. Amen. Praise the Lord. You have 150 people, but God is saying 100,000 of people Amen. shall gather in your meetings. For God is going to use you in signs and wonders. Amen. We are talking of goiters disappearing Amen. by you laying hands on people. Amen. We are talking of short people getting tall. Amen. We are talking of Down syndrome receiving miracles. Amen. God is going to use you to touch people that are homeless, rejected. And you transform them even to become millionaires. Amen. Amen. I believe. I receive. God will give you schools yes. which you shall head and lead many people. Amen. Amen. But God says, She is your pillar. La, 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 la. She is your intercessor. Intesora. She Amen. is your covering in prayer. Amen. It's done, says the Lord. Prophesy. Somebody shout hallelujah. Prophesy. Somebody Prophesy, prophesy, Papa. Papa. Prophesy. 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 There is somebody here. In your car, you have some substance. Prophesy. Like, prophesy. like, I, I don't want to say drugs for camera's sake. I'll say marijuana or some stuff, substance. In your car. I need to pray with you. Prophesied because that. I see a demon standing in front of you. If I don't pray for you in few days, the spirit of death will hold you. If you are bored enough, I want you to come. You have some stuff right now in your car. There is a hand of God over your life. Yes. And God loves you so much. Prophesy, Papa. Because three days from today, you are going to die. Jesus, prophesy. I saw a demon of death in front of him. I saw myself driving towards New York. Yes. It's as if I'm going to New York. Prophesy. Prophesy, Papa. Prophesy, Papa. Prophesy, Papa. Papa. But as I was on my way going there, I saw a spirit of death. Jesus. And God says, cover him in prayer. Yes. 
Cover him in prayer. Cover him in prayer. Go deeper, Papa. Prophesy. Join your hands. There is a cry. I hear a cry. There is a baby. I hear a cry. You have a baby. Yes. I hear a cry. There's something with the mind. Yes. My five-year-old has autism. Your five-year-old is autism. Prophesy, Papa. Do you believe in miracles? I believe in miracles. Signs and wonders. I believe in miracles, signs and wonders. You need to repent. Yes. Not downstairs, but upstairs. Jesus. You need to repent to God. Yes. Because after you make this repentance, a miracle is going to hit your house. Prophesy, Papa. I call upon the fire of God over your life. God is touching your lungs. Your deliverance is sealed right now. From today, you are a new man. You are a new person. Go outside, get oil. I'll pray for oil. You go and rent your child. Prophesy, Papa. What happened to you? Amen. You good? You are not. You are not good. Because. Professor. I see, I see a line here. I don't know what does that mean. I see a line here. Here. There's a line I'm seeing here. I had surgery. You had surgery. Mm -hmm. What happened? Mm. What happened? I was playing with my husband and I stepped back. I love this house, huh? Mm -hmm. You're playing with your husband. Yeah, that's a good thing. <laughs> so you hurt yourself. We need to pray. We need to pray. Prophesy, prophesy. Prophesy, Papa. prophesy, Papa. I don't know how I can prophesy, but we need to pray. Prophesy, Papa. Because some people love and love so love. But if something starts lacking, The food can be outside, but they love you. And then you begin to feel it, and you begin to feel the distance. That's why God told me you are not okay. We need to pray for you, and we need to pray for your house. Do you believe in healing? Do you believe in healing? You believe in miracles? Oh, yes. Are you sure? Yes. Go sit in front. In a few minutes, you'll be fine. Amen. Amen. And God is fixing your house. Prophesy. Prophesy, Papa. Prophesy, Papa. Prophesy, Papa. Prophesy. Prophesy, Papa. I, I don't know if we can call it ulcers. I don't know if we can call it ulcers. But it's something within you that you are not eating certain food, even acidic things. What is that? I have a problem with my stomach and something in my body keep on moving up and down from top to heel up, keep going up and down like a snake. I moved 26 years ago. 
Jesus. There was witchcraft that took place in Jamaica. Jesus. Hallelujah. I'm not in Kingston, but just after Kingston. Jesus. It's like Portmore. I'm in a house. I don't know why I see a blue color. Jesus. I see some old couches. Yes, it's true. Huh? Yes, it's true. You know this place Prophesy. I'm talking about. Prophesy. You know this place. Yes. And I'm seeing you seated. Prophesy. I'm seeing it's like something hit you on the shoulder here. This is 26 years ago. Something hit you here. Prophesy. But you felt like it was just nothing. You went to sleep. Prophesy. In the morning, you began to feel moving objects. Prophesy. Moving objects. Prophesy. And this spirit have tormented you for a long time. Prophesy. But God says, today is your day. Prophesy. Fire! 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 out of her you moving object never touch she again no pain in her body she will eat anything and everything in the name of Jesus yes. it is done That's the anointing touching you right there. You are healed. Completely healed. Amen. You are healed. Amen. Completely healed. Amen. You are healed. Ah. Uh, yeah. Come back. Check. You are healed. You are healed. Somebody shout out the Lord. Somebody shout out the Lord. I claim your healing and I seal it in the name of Jesus. Yes. It is done. And Amen. God is fixing your house. Amen. It's done. Amen. Give me J. J. E. 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 S. U. U. S. S. Whom do we have? Jesus. There's power in the name of Jesus. Jesus. Healing in the name of Jesus. Jesus. Deliverance in the name of Jesus. Jesus. Glory. Glory. What is that? Everybody with immigration papers, lift your hand. No, don't lift your hand. Find an offering, come and give. I felt it in my spirit. It's not God speaking. Find a thousand, find a hundred, whatever you can give as a sacrifice, just give. I want to declare speed over your papers. I don't know how many people are here. I prophesied that guy here. About the papers that were not there for nine years. I said it this week. Yes. In two days he got the papers. Yay. Is he here? She In two days he got the papers. 
Yes, can happen in two days. It's Easter holiday. Amen. But very soon. Soon and very soon. I'm prophesying somebody, you are not here by paper. You use the border somewhere to enter America. Professor. But I'm seeing a door opening for you December for papers. Amen. Don't give two dollars now for papers. I want to declare speed. Papa. But find a sacrifice. Even if you're watching and you want to come to America, I'm prophesying now. You want to come to America yeah, yeah. and you're watching and they've denied your visa and denied you and rejected and delayed your papers. In a rosso to Lara de Asantes, Ririandondo Rodobia Casiga de Rande Kiga Gabahaze, you naroteke de Bohoshai. Approved. 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 I declare speed over your papers. Hallelujah. You get your citizenship. You get your green card quickly. If you want to come to America, you get your visa. I decree and I declare it's done. Amen. Amen. Ah. If you have beloved ones you want to bring in America, Give an offering for them. Approval in the name of Jesus. I decree and I declare speed. Speed. Prophesy, Papa. Prophesy. 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 I don't want to prophesy today. Prophesy. Prophesy. And, prophesy. And, and it's 11 o'clock. I'm not Mama Lily now. Papa, prophesy. Janaya, come. Yeah. Prophesy. Guys, it's good to marry. Look at that doubler now. He just changed overnight. <laughs> I declare marriages. I receive it. I declare marriages. I receive In the mighty name of Jesus. Prophesy. Uh, Mama. Yeah. There's like an abuse spirit that I saw in your own house. Abuse spirit. I saw somebody abusing you. Spanish. Oh. I should learn Mira. Spanish and prophesy in Spanish now. Legras kovra haske, vivra haze, gede vroho zavra haze, zivri gidi vaha gede de de vo javra haze, gede le boho vra haze, gede ne moho shivra haza, zivra hade gede le bohu shivra hade gede. I saw somebody abusing you. Mira. I see an abusing spirit following you for years. Ve un abusivo espíritu siguiéndola por años. But God is Pero Dios putting his covering over your poniendo, life. Te está cubriendo. And even the things you lost. Y hasta las cosas que has perdido. He is restoring you. Él lo está restaurando. Because over the years you even worked hard. Porque sobre los años has trabajado duro. I even seen you settled in a place. También te ha visto en ciertos But lugares. But I saw someone taking advantage of Pero you and kicking you out of the place. Pero también te ha visto que ha habido una persona que te pateó afuera de tu lugar, como te sacó de tu de tu propio lugar. But God is restoring Pero you. Dios está and Amen. is protecting you. Y te está from every type of a spirit. Clase de that has been coming after you. Que está de ti. 
Hace tres días me pegó fuerte, fuerte. Yo no hallaba para dónde ir. Um, three days ago she got um, physically hit really hard. It's over now. Dice, ya se ha terminado eso. It's not the first time. No es la primera vez que te pasa. Todo el tiempo lo ha hecho. And no, he's always done it. All the time. But God is protecting you now. Pero Dios te está protegiendo. I see the fire of God surrounding you. Dice que ve la lumbre del Señor The abuse spirit is being removed from your life. Espíritu de abuso está siendo removido de tu vida. Be free in Jesus name. Tell me your testimony is now it's done. Dice tu testimonio ya está hecho, ya está completo. It's Can I prophesy? Prophesy. 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 When somebody is abusing you, there's a spirit in you that is making you to be abused. When somebody is molesting you, there's a spirit in you that is causing you to be molested. How come only your child is being raped at school? You change the school, your child is raped again at another school. The, it's spiritual, it's not physical. Prophesy, God spoke to me to start Sunday services. When I'm done with Zimbabwe 100,000 seater conference, I'm going to come back here and we're going to start doing two Sunday services. Amen. One morning session where I preach and prophesy as usual. Then the afternoon we're going to have PhD services. Prophecy healing and deliverance only. So I deliver people that are bound. I saw people flying from different parts of America for deliverance only. Healing only. The prophetic only. It's going to happen. Prophesy, Papa. There are, there are two babies that are pending in the realms of the spirit. Prophesy! Prophesy! Prophesy, Papa! You, you should have had children by now, two of them. But there is a spirit holding you spiritually. Prophesy! And today you are going to cross over to the other side. Prophesy! Prophesy, Papa! Because Prophesy, Papa! Because I saw a spirit coming to your house. Prophesy. And that spirit was saying, none of you will have a child. Prophesy. There is another lady, a girl I saw, like a sister. And I even saw her being affected by this spirit that to the extent that she does not want to have any men in her life. Prophesy. Prophesy, Papa. And she made a covenant to herself that I will never sleep with a man in my entire life. But there is going to be a deliverance that is going to come from you to her. Amen. There is a fire that is going to your sister. Amen. Because God will start with you and God will also visit your sister. Amen. Prophesy, Papa. For God has made you a covering. In your entire house. Amen. Prophesy. I even saw a lady in a plane. Prophesy. And I saw you covering her. That's my mom. Because the plane is about to crash. But because of your prayers, only on this day, Amen. she will not go to work. Amen. You will hear soon. It has fell. The flight, yes, fell. But your mom will not be in that place. Amen. Because God is saying, I have made you a covering of the house. Amen. No weapon from the against your family shall be able to prevail. Amen. My mom's a, a flight attendant. I don't know why I saw blue. I don't know why. That I don't may know. be her, her uniform. 
I don't know why I was in the spirit. Prophesy. And I was taken in the realms of the spirit. Prophesy. And I saw, we have to pray. Amen. I saw, I don't know how to go deeper, but I saw like a Lisbon spirit. Prophesy. Coming to your house. Prophesy. Your family. Not you, but your family. Yes. My, my, my little sister. And God says he's going to be broken because he's authorizing you in the spirit. Amen. To be the covering of the entire house. Amen. And the covenant which the evil spirits had made over you and your family. It will not prevail from today. Amen. The children pending are on the way coming into your way. Amen. I release fire. And I speak as a prophet of God. Let it be light. Let it be light. <sighs> be free from today. Be free from today. It is done in Jesus' name. Amen. Prophesy, Papa. Somebody shout hallelujah. Hallelujah. Somebody shout hallelujah. Somebody shout hallelujah. Prophesy, Papa. Kuda, ba, 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 ba. Kada, ba, 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 ba. Father, I pray for this oil. Let it carry the form and the power of the Holy Ghost. Lose its fragment, but carry the anointing, the power of the cross. Let there be deliverance, signs and wonders upon the child. As they anoint the child, Father, I pray a breakthrough. A breakthrough. A breakthrough. In the boca busted the day olden key. It is done. You will come back with the testimony. Professor. It is done. Hallelujah. Glory. 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 Prophesy. Glory. 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 Prophesy. Glory. Prophesy. Prophesy, Papa. Prophesy. Prophesy, prophesy, Papa. Papa. Prophesy, Papa. Prophesy. I don't want to prophesy. To prophesy, me. Papa. Prophesy. Prophesy. Pro. Jubena de ba de ba de ba What's what's your name, sir? Yes. Don't don't eat on Sunday. Come first. Okay. Don't eat anything. Yes, sir. Come first. Okay. God will touch you. Okay. Lucifer Hades. Lucifer Hades. Lift up your hands, everybody. May the prophetic favor over my life be upon your lives. May you cross over to the other side. Jesus. I hear a name like Wanda. 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 It's. What is that? Huh? Just go in front. Lift your hands. I speak a transfer from me to you to your sister. I speak a covering because I'm seeing an accident. I don't know if there have been another accident, but I see 
I don't know if there's been like a cutting accident, but I'm seeing a car accident now. Okay. I'm seeing a silver car. It's like her car is silver. Her car is silver. Yes. I Officer see Papa. injunction. She's moving. It's like she has the right of way. But someone is coming from the other side, non-stop. Yes. I see the car being hit. <gasps> I see it rolling, and I saw it losing her life right away. <laughs> Prophesy. <laughs> Prophesy, Papa. But God reveals in order to redeem. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes. Go because deep, Papa. I'm no longer here. Where Go are deeper, you? Papa. Where are you, Papa? I'm standing in front of the accident scene. Prophesy. And I'm reversing it right now. Prophesy. Prophesy. I'm reversing it right now. Prophesy. Thank you. No weapon from the Guinness wonder shall be able to prosper. Prophesy. I speak life. Prophesy. Life. Prophesy. Wonder will live and save the Lord. Prophesy. In Jesus' name. In Jesus name. It is done. Amen. Sadaba. Kuda de 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 bo shadaba. Prophesy, Papa. Prophesy, Papa. Prophesy, Papa. Prophesy, Papa. Let's let's stop the prophetic for one minute. One minute. I need to make a decision tonight, and you make that decision possible or not possible. We are supposed to go and preach, or we are supposed to go and preach in Paris. Many souls wants to be blessed by the idiosyncratic. But the church hosting us there, they don't have money. I have money, but I need 250000 for closing our $14 million church. Then I have a wedding coming soon. I need a lot, I won't tell you. Then I'm finishing my house there. I'm left with 120,000 to finish it in two weeks. So I have my own bed. So it's either we cancel Paris or some of you will be able to help us with tickets. What else is needed? Flight tickets, transportation on the ground, and hotels. There are Airbnbs in Paris. And Airbnb for the team. So I don't know. Should we cancel? Are you guys going to help the Paris church? It's your decision. I know people are broke right now. <laughs> because if I'm broke, you're broke too. <laughs> I'm being honest with you. If I'm broke, you're broke. <laughs> Remember, my stress is 14 million, right? And my stress is the other 120,000. My stress is the wedding. My stress is I'm going to Houston. I'm flying how many people? 10 people to Houston next week for the conference. There. Then Airbnb and the hotels there. And airing of the cars and stuff. Then I have 100,000 seater next month in Zimbabwe. The budget there is 600,000 for the stage, the flights from here. The hotels, the it's just crazy. My life, you don't want to believe my life, guy. Don't look me looking sharp like this and think my life is sweet. It's sweet, but sour at the same time. So I am saying if I'm broke, you're broke too. So should we cancel or should we try to work on it? Try to work on it? Who is saying that? Are you going to contribute now? So how many flights do we need? So Papa, whenever you're traveling, um, you travel with social media, two people. Uh -huh. You travel with PAs, and you travel with your musicians. So overall, you travel with 10 people, so that's 10 economy tickets. Plus you fly. Economy is cheap, right? Right. It's so like 1,000, like right? 1,200. Yeah. So we're looking at $12,000 just to fly the team. Then your ticket is first I'll class. buy myself if, yeah. if we go. Then we're looking at your hotel, which is five star and above. Then transportation for you and for the team, which is two vehicles. 
which is roughly, say, $1,500 for the week. So we are at now over, say, 20 Should we go to France or cancel? <laughs> I love my church. Because, because Wallace was saying cancel. Adabla was saying, let's not cancel, we raise the money. Then I said, people have been giving, 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 giving. People are getting more broke. Now, the problem with rescheduling is that after I'm done with Zimbabwe, that's April, right? I only have May. Where am I in May? I have California 25th. You're in Zimbabwe in May. May 9th. Yeah, after Zimbabwe 9th. Yeah, then we have California. I'm doing California 25th yes. of May with Lovi, yes. EJ, Innocent, Bishop Jones, the prophetesses and stuff. And then after that, I'm done. I'm going to build church here. I'm going to get 15,000 people every Sunday. So I'll be working. I told myself when I get my new building, I'm burning my passport. I don't come to you. You come to me. At least uh, I'll be flying my jet. I don't need a passport for local stuff. But either way, I'll be here. I'll be here for you guys. Amen. Amen. We're going to build a mega church. Amen. So, it said that we cancel France, and that's it. If they want, we send team there, or Innocent, or one of the sons, but I don't know. I don't know. Cancel, right? Cancel, right? Adabla Luz. Korea, who will come soon? <laughs> who will come soon? So while as we cancel? Right, church? <laughs> huh? Huh? We can raise the money. Everybody can raise like 100 or 200 dollars, each one of us. We can cover it, everyone here. We're children of God. We have the ability to do anything. I like, I like, I like my sister. Huh? I like my sister. So, okay, okay, okay. Let's make it easy. So, Wallace, you yourself, how much are you going to give? I'll give, Papa. All right. A double are you going to give? Of course, Papa. How much? I will give with Pastor Wallace. How much? <laughs> how much? I don't want people to give and the money is not enough because I'll be the one to pay everything. Yes. They always do that to me, these sure. guys. I want to know how much you will give. How much? 3,000? Two? I'm already owing you fives. <laughs> uh, you owe my five. That's too fine. But how much you going to give? No. 500 is more for an apostle. 1,000. 1,000. Adabla? I can give 500 so we can give another thousand opportunity. <laughs> thousand, thousand. <laughs> thousand, thousand. Right? Okay. You just make it thousand. Okay, one thousand. Papa. So we have three thousand. Uh, front seat. Uh, people that sit in France should give. <laughs> yes. How much? How much? I'll see, Papa. I'll tell you. Ah, you are sitting in front. <laughs> Only people at the back should see. How much? 1,000. 1,000. We have 4,000. Anybody else in front? 500? 4.5? 4,500? I'm with my husband. <laughs> Another 500? Mm. Yeah, I can give a 5,000. All right. We have 5,000? 1,000. Another 1,000? We have 6,000? Oh, well, this side is dead. <laughs> Another 1,000? Huh? 100. 100. We have 5.1. Greenstone? You said how much? 5,000? Or 500? We have 5,500. How much? 1,000. 
1,000, we have 6,500. Ah, it's working. I didn't know we can pull out like that. <laughs> Guys, I don't have to ask everybody how much. Those who can give a thousand, lift your hand. 7.5. Who else? Who else? What are they pointing? Oh, you already said thousand. You, you want to give 10,000? The highest bid is 1,000, right? Anyone else giving above 1,000? He wants to double the highest. Should I just give 3,000? <laughs> huh? How much can you give? So he's going to give 3,000. That's 10,500 plus my 3,000. 13,500. 13,500. I add another 500, 14, another 1,000. So I'm giving 4,500. So we have 15,000. Uh, how many are giving $500? 500. Kendrick, are you here? 500? All right. That's five fifteen point five. Another five hundred? Sixteen thousand. Another five hundred? Sixteen point five. Who else? Who can give two hundred and fifty? Two hundred and fifty. How much do we have? Okay. Uh, how much? Two fifty plus two fifty, that's five hundred. How much we have now? We passed 16,000, right? 250. We have 750. Who else has 250? We have 2,000. 2,000 plus how much we had? Guys, okay, so let's, not, let's not complicate it. Those that are giving 1,000, come and give you 1,000. Uh, those that are giving, they give to which dot com now? There are people watching online. <laughs> Let me see who is watching. <laughs> Elisha, you said what? 250? <laughs> <laughs> I love this church. <laughs> you give? What else already gave? Passion.com or Cash App, Prophet Passion, Zell, PJ Ministries Office at gmail.com. I need people watching online to give a thousand or five hundred. So that means the Paris is confirmed, right? Yes. Right? Yes, Papa. So when do we go? Who wants to go with me? Yeah. As you can see, we are out of budget. You pay for your ticket. <laughs> it's fair, right? We have people watching. Kayan Van Holm says he's going to give 18,000 or something. David Array has given. All right, those that are giving 1,000, give 1,000. Those are giving 500, 500. 3,000, give 3,000. Bring. Kesha, put in my pocket, then I'll transfer that. Who else is going to give, 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 give? Do I have worshippers in the house? Worshippers, how much? Anybody with a thousand, five hundred, two fifty? Huh? All of you, you're gonna give a thousand. Ah, that's deep. Uh, how much we have now? Worshippers are giving a thousand.
I have 20,000 pounds. 20,000. Is it enough now? It's not. We need more. More. Those that are giving 100? 100? One, two, three, four. This side is deep. Five. All right, those giving 100, quickly give online. Mr. Kenrick has given 500. God bless you. Where is your wife? Oh, she gave. God bless you. God bless you. Wallace Breed, how are you much you going to give? <laughs> he said no. Where is Wallace's wife? 500. $500. dollars Did she say 500 250 Papa. 250 that's fine. Who, is, who else is giving 250 around you? Huh? Ruth Prosperity, Papa. Ruth Prosperity is giving another 250 Thank you, Papa. Ruth, who else close to you is going to give another offering? <laughs> in the booth. Who is in the booth? We have Andrea. We have... Why are people hiding now? You don't want people in Paris to be blessed, huh? God will bless you guys for what you did. I don't know what God will do for the people in Paris, but God will never forget what you did, guys. You have shown love. I didn't want it. I was like, I mean, if you want me, you have to pay, right? But not every church is blessed like us. Everybody Everybody give your thousand, give your five hundred, your two fifty, your hundred. Those with fifties and twenties give. It will did Adam double like give? Let me get my phone and give now. Uh -huh. <laughs> Some people forget, you know. <laughs> I did you give? He said, how much How much you get? How much? 250? You said 250? Give. We are waiting for your 250. Who else didn't give? Behind you, Awalas. She said what? She said what? Your pants are too nice. You should, you should like give something to God. You're wearing pants like this. Look, look, church. Look at the pants. I actually shopped the clothes like that from Lovey's closet. It's coming soon. She said, uh, one million? Yes, what? <laughs> yes, from Kasai. God bless you. <laughs> so this is what you, you guys are going to do, Wallace. If any church invites us from now, they should just pay 20000 Then we cover our flights and stuff and stuff. So don't come and say, this church wants you. You should just say, 20,000 to make sure the prophet comes. If you can't, so we don't give you back. We eat. <laughs> because we want to cancel our conferences to come to you, right? Then you say you cancel, right? And so we don't have to be like, people are broke already. We are breaking people that are broke. <laughs> but what I will tell you is God will never forget what you did. Amen. God is going to bless your offerings. Even if we go and preach to two people, God will bless you for what he did. If there are 100, God is going to bless you with me. If there are 500, God is going to bless you so much. Glory to Jesus. I didn't see people online giving. Should we cut life? <laughs> <laughs> I prophesied you. What did I say?
Oh, I called you. What do you want God to do for you? Healing of your body. What's happening with your body? Brain tumor. Attacked my brain. COVID and attacked your brain. And it made me have, um, mimic the stroke, basically. And you had a stroke. No, I didn't have one, but it mimicked the stroke. So therefore, my whole left side is debilitated. That's why I walk the way I do. Where are you from? North Carolina. Are you here for the conference? Yes. So you're here tomorrow? Yes. We'll deal with you tomorrow. Amen. You are guaranteed Amen. to receive your year. Amen. Guaranteed. Amen. Glory to Jesus. Father, I pray for the people that are in this house, and I bless each and every one of them. Father, we thank you for dying on the cross for us. We pray for your blood to be upon everybody in here that our sins are forgiven and white under the blood. Give us the grace, Lord, in Jesus' name. Amen and amen. I'm going to I'm going to call Apostle Wallace so that he may close and uh, pray for the tithers. But I pray if there be anybody sick among us, be healed. Anybody in need of a deliverance power, be delivered. In the mighty name of Jesus, I pray. I Amen. Amen. Oh, I, I forgot to ask by Vita, how much are you giving for Paris? You say 250? <laughs> Give. God bless you. Did I miss somebody in here? Messi said she's giving 250? She gave 250. You will give 250. Yes, Baba. And how much Jasmine is going to give? 500. You're going to give 500? So we have 750. Who else I forgot here? Carol, you said you're going to give how much? 250. Who did I forget here? Mundi. Mundi. You said you're giving how much? 500. This side. Sir, you said you're going to give how much? Two fifty five hundred, one thousand, ten thousand, fifteen, twenty thousand. Two fifty five hundred. Who else did I forget here? You are giving a hundred gold pieces. But can you give first? He said, I have to bless the business, then you give 5,000. <laughs> but it is your 5,000 that makes your business to be blessed. Oh, yeah. So whenever you can do that. There are two people I missed. Who are those two people? Let me not scare you guys. I still need you to come to church tomorrow. <laughs> Clap your hands for Apostle Wallace. Lebra sata la ba 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 ye. Glory. Put your hands together for our Father in the Lord. Come on, you can clap the prophet better than me. It's it's always good when we can go and be a blessing to God's people. Now you will know and understand that it's never easy when we travel. It costs money. Well, the gospel, it's free. But it costs money. We were about to, uh, to cancel France because, not because of money, but to take our team there, it, you need money to go there. So I want to thank God for every person that really came together i know that the the people the prophet in france the people of paris 
they are smiling right now. Amen. Because Prophet Passion is now going to France. Um, if, if there's anybody that wants to go, the program will be on the 13th of April. It will be on the 13th of April. So if you're looking to go, you can start looking at your tickets now. Um, the information is already on our website. We were getting ready to take it down today. Um, because we made a decision not to go. But we thank God for every person that raised their hands up and gave. Now let me, let me dismiss you. It's already late. Um, if you can stand with me. Thank you, Jesus. Again, I truly appreciate every person that contributed today towards the prophet's trip to the nation of Paris. Lift your hands. Before I forget, I know I heard Papa say something about tithing. Yes, are there any tithers in the house tonight? If you brought your tithe quickly, let's do it in five minutes, please. If you brought your tithes, even if you're online, can you put the giving information on the screen, please? Quickly, if you brought your tithes, go to Kingdom Embassy on PayPal, Kingdom Embassy Inc. On Cash App, it's the dollar sign, Kingdom Embassy Inc. Thank you. If you're online and you're watching us, go to our Kingdom Embassy details. Lift your tithes. Even if you're still coming, lift your hands up now. Father, we thank you. Whilst I'm praying, let the church pray as well. Lift your voice and pray. Father, we thank you for your faithful ones. These ones that are committed, Lord, to bringing back into your house a portion that which you have commanded by your word. We pray that every word that you spoke will be manifested. Let a window in heaven open for them. Let blessings be poured out. May you rebuke the devourer for their sakes, Lord. May you bless them continually, Father. May you fill their store baskets, their storehouses, that they themselves will not have room to contain it. May you bless them tremendously and abundantly. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, I pray and the church say, Amen. Amen. Quickly drop your ties, tap your phones on the altar. As you're walking back to your seats, please lift your hands. Father, we thank you tonight for the spoken word. We thank you for every person that came out tonight and that became, gave, Lord, became a blessing so that somebody in another country can be blessed. We pray for your people tonight that as we go from this place, Lord, that you would go with us and even before us. Let your angels take us home safely. Guard us protect us on the road let there be no incidents let there be no accidents father cover your people under your blood we speak a hedge of protection we speak a hedge of fire we decree and we declare that no weapon that is formed against us shall be able to prosper go before your people tonight take them home safely father to their homes god and bring them back into your house tomorrow, yes. oh Lord. Yes, Lord, bring them back into your house tomorrow so that we can rejoice in your glory, in your presence. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Somebody shout amen. Amen, amen. God bless amen. you, God bless you.